Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second. So make sure you have a set to that. And welcome to the show. Welcome. 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 Uh, we have three games tonight Yay. where we're going to be playing the Atari 2600 tonight. Nice. So 2600 night. Yay, 2600 Try and nice. alternate. 2600, 7800. 7, have a yep. bit of balance there. Nick on Friday at 7800. Gotcha. But playing three games tonight. Uh, Slide Boy in Maze Land, the final build of it. Okay. We're going to finish it. Well, I don't know about that, but mm. there's 50 screens, but we're going to get as far as we can. Uh, the second game is Hunger Shark from 2014. Nice. Just randomly ran across it. Looks nice. like fun. Haven't, I like to, haven't tried it before, so yeah, I like to dive into the archives once in a while, mm -hmm. and I run across something that looks interesting. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be playing Zevias. Have you played Zevias? I think so. Oh, probably for the Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Previewing it. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but yeah. tonight we're going to be playing it for the Harmony Games that Dan ABC puts on. Oh, lovely. Uh, so we're going to be trying our best for high scores on the uh, expert level. Oof, Oof. boy. That we're in trouble. Hard. We're in trouble. <laughs> but we're going to try hardest. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that mm -hmm. support the show. 8-Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Armscar, Coder, Coder, Cafe Man, Canadian Tenor, Catalogs, Charles and Chet, Coconut, 81, Dan, if you see Drexel, I'm you, Dan, Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ozier Rapper, Johnny, WC1, Urato, Carl G, Kev Kelly, KY Gandor, Leo the Low, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarna, Whoopa, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strump, Pack Rat, VG, Cohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pimp, Six, Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, Teet Fos, and Trek MD. Oh, my goodness, all those names. That's a lot of names. <laughs> cool. And you can support the show and get your name on that list for free if you link your Amazon Prime uh, to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, or you can just pay. Um, <laughs> and be sure to my, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I do post on all of them occasionally. <laughs> yes. Uh, mail, news, feedback, mail time, mail call. Oh, do you want to go through who's in the chat right oh, now? Oh, I do. Thank you for you the reminder. I do. Uh, S. Ramirez. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Command, for subscribing. <laughs> Perfect timing. Very good timing. For eight months. Wow. And thank you to those people who subscribed just before the show, S. Ramirez and Al Nefer, just before the show. Yeah. So thank you for hanging out with us, uh, Miss Command, S. Ramirez, Dan ABC, uh, Pack Rat, Rat, Crossbow, uh, 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 Al, Al Nefer, of course. Al Nefer, Uber Bells, who nice. said, I finally made it live. Thank you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That you're able to join us. Uh, mm -hmm. Luciano Source Code as well who was uh, typing in Portuguese, but I was able to translate it with Google Translate and answer them in English. So mm. they'll have to do translating again. Mm. Mm. But I'm sure they're able to read English because why would they be watching? Just for the games. <laughs> Just watching Just for, for the, the games. games. No idea what they're saying, but I like the games. That's <laughs> nice. fine too. Yep. And Atari 2600 dudes Excellent. snuck in under the wire. Nice. Let's see what this is. I, I do love know what this is. Presents. Um, it's soft. But I don't know, I don't remember Soft. what's on it. Why do you, oh, okay. I'm like, most things are like this big and hard. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a oh. stinky shirt. Yay, stinky. It's a glue. Oh, yeah, blue. It <laughs> smells like Elmer's glue. It's a nice, nice though. I like glowing it. Atari shirt. Yeah. It's got the red, yellow, and blue colors and nice. a white Atari. You know, it's, I like a, this. it's a lot like your Atari uh, symbol that you have. If you subscribe, you get that you oh. get access to. Let's see. That's what it reminds me of, actually. That one. Oh, it's well, a little different in color, but it it's color. also got the rainbow color in there. So it does color. Cool. But nice. Yeah, I thought I'd get this one because it's got a that's nice cool. symbol. It's kind of neon and it's yeah. got really bold colors. So I'm going to put yeah. this on right now. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Just off I camera. thought he was going to strip on camera. No, I'm like, it, we're not mm -hmm. that kind of show here. No. <laughs> Not that desperate for viewers. <laughs> you, you do have to watch those shirts once they stink, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to smell like Elmer's glue for the rest of the show. <laughs> I'll stink for a bit. 
tonight. Or it's worth it. Show off the new shirt. Nice. Oh, no, it's nice. I like it. Yeah. Fits well. Yeah. Here we go. Hooray. Back. Yeah, it is an awesome graphic. Yeah. I like it a I lot. I like it a lot, yeah. Not often I run across shirts that I like. Than, um, that, well, that you like simpler graphics. You don't like it to very be plain. too branded or anything. No, so. I don't like... I, I would rather not say Atari, but yeah. this looks really nice. It does look nice, Like, yeah. just with the graphic, but... Yeah. Does it glow? I bet uh, you can make it glow. You need a black light. It's glowing like, it's glowing kind of in right now, but That'd not be really. Kind of cool if you could, yeah. Get they've a glow made in the dark one. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they have. They've made them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we have another piece of mail. Mm. I didn't cross out my uh, address, so I'm gonna have to hold it very carefully. <laughs> Actually, I'll just rip this one open. Hopefully, it's not like that stuffing. You know that. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like the paper it. stuffing that's yeah, fluffy and it's like paper, fibers. It's like fiber. Which is good because it's recyclable, but oh my god. <laughs> it does it get everywhere. Everywhere. Nope, bubble wrap. So. Very nice, very nice. What is this? Okay, some instructions on how to use a cartridge. Sure. <laughs> oh, it comes with a sleeve. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's nice. The CIC chip is currently set up with the US NTSC region console. If CIC used at the first time or the system region change, push the NES reset switch four to eight times. Oh my goodness, okay. I don't know what it's talking about, but keep that around. This is GA Plus mm -hmm. uh, for the NES. Now, what this is, is a homebrew okay ish <laughs> it was commissioned by nintendo okay last year last year uh it's a galaga um mm. sequel galaga sequel or is it prequel damn it i forget yeah um but this came on a did this is uh was released digitally um through a bunch of different places but not put on a car not put on a hard copy disc or anything anywhere like when like last year this oh, was put out last year so this year. is this is like this homebrew is, this is it, it's well homebrew. not homebrew but i mean they, it's not homebrew it's, no. it's 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 released it's, by nintendo it's but... released by nintendo but they didn't put it on hard copy which i like yeah i, I don't so buy... they offered it in, in a hard form oh no they did this is not from Nintendo. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody made this, let's say. Somebody made this. I see. But I, I'm not going to buy it digitally mm. because I, I don't care about digital stuff. It just, it's ephemeral. It disappears mm. after five years. Mm. Oh, you, you lose your console and it goes away. Yeah. So I wanted it on hard copy. Oh, that's because neat. Because I like Galaga and shooters like this. So. And that's what it, that's what and that's what it is. So if they don't offer it, I am going to buy it <laughs> <laughs> in another form. Nice. So um, very, kinda very neat. cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, hopefully it works. Yep, from Namco. Um, so let's get to the news. Uh, this was posted in the Atari Age forums. By Revenge. It says a heads up. I've oh the title was Mr. FPGA 7800 Core. A heads up that I've been working on with some of the Mr. FPGA devs, uh Kit Rinix and Alan S. W. X on the 7800 Core. Now, do you know any of that? What that means at all? Okay. No. So I'll explain <laughs> it to you and everybody else. Yeah. Uh Mr. is um uh, a computer basically okay. mm -hmm. um fpga is a chip i would say but it, what this chip does is is emulates hardware oh. like you can program it and load um what do they call anyway programs yeah um that emulates systems okay and in in this case it's emulating hardware emulation mm. an atari 7800 mm. So you can load up a 2600, a 7800 um, arcade machine boards onto this, and it and and you know transistor by transistor, it's emulating it perfectly. Oh, okay. So it's not really emulation, but it it is. But you're emulating it absolutely perfectly. 
<laughs> a programmable gate array. Thank you, Alan Fur. Um, mainly, I've been the 7800 programming answer man, creator of various 7800 test programs, co-analyzer of problem ROMs, and a guy responsible for updates to the A78 header. I take no credit for any of the VHDL, nor the painstaking hardware analysis being done, but they're using 7800 logic diagrams directly provided to them by no other than Kurt Vendel, who passed away recently. Mm. The guy is still making an impact, and frankly, I'm awed by the level of skill and determination being displayed. It's my pleasure to say that the in-progress 7800 core is now freakishly accurate, mm. despite all of the torture tests I've thrown at it. This is not surprising in retrospect, given all the detail, attention to detail being thrown into this project. I know real 7800 consoles are getting relatively expensive, mm. especially in certain parts of the world where n the 7800 didn't see wide release. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, in case Mr. FPGA somehow hasn't been on your radar, RMC has a decent intro video. And it says, is FPGA the future of retro? Mm. And I would argue that it is because it can emulate multiple consoles, arcade machines, anything up to a certain point of speed, I'm guessing is the limiting factor or size of the FPGA, but they can just make them bigger as time goes on. So if you're emulating yeah. the hardware, yeah. are you also connecting to cartridges or is it would, like, would no. it depend if you have the input or? Um... I, I can see them adding that ability and some consoleized FPGA devices have hooked up a cartridge reader. Reader, Because yeah. that's what you need to add on is a cartridge reader. Yeah. It interacts with the pins and yeah. it goes, okay, read whenever yeah. it needs to read. Mm. Um, like I do have uh, some FPGA devices like the, mm. um, like the Collector Vision Phoenix. Okay. Here is an FPGA. A consoleized FPGA for the ColecoVision, and it does have a um, cartridge uh, dumper reader as mm -hmm. well. So this is an example. In a an way? example. Yeah. It's specific built for the Coleco, mm. but you can actually put different cores. That's the word I was looking for. Cores. Yeah. Different FPGA cores onto this one, and it already has a 2600 core in it. Mm. So you can. Um, play different uh, systems on this one. Mm. I don't know if there's a limitation on this, how many cores you can put on it, how cross-compatible FPGA cores, like is Mr. way more cross-compatible than this? I would be guessing yes, or else people would just be buying this if it's cheaper. Mm. Um, but you can buy, um, I was looking into it after I saw this, you can buy a pre-built Mr. for about 300 US, mm. Um, and maybe I think 40 or $50 US cheaper if you want to put it together yourself. And it looks really, really easy to put together. They said um, basic soldering skills are needed. This is a very tight t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, it's good that it's tight, but just sitting down, it's like, ugh, it keeps riding up. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited about that. And it, I think the games are going to be put mostly on SD cart and you'll be loading them off SD. SD cards. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, rather than cartridges, cool. because a lot of people want portability and not carrying around sure. a ton of cartridges. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the only other thing would be input, like what kind of controllers that it accepts. And I'm guessing it, it'd be USB. And there's lots of USB to even Atari joysticks, 2600 joysticks. Mm -hmm. So it has that ability to do, um, you know, backwards compatible. But I mean, there's lots of USB joysticks. You can even buy Atari 2600 kind of USB joysticks as well. Or plug in a modern one. Um, so that's great news that uh, more and more systems are being made. Cores are being made for FPGA devices. Because eventually they're all going to break down. All the plastic's going to just melt away and the, the boards are not going to be good anymore. I mean, they're still... 2600s are still going pretty strong 40 years later, mm -hmm. 40 plus years later. So, uh, new homebrew supplies are coming to the Atari Age store. Um, Al Yuruso posted yesterday, I think. He said, I will be adding circuit boards for a variety of systems. Cool. 
2600, 5200, 7800 Jaguar and ColecoVision to the Atari Age store soon, he says, within a few weeks. Same goes for EEPROMs and other parts and die cut label sheets for a variety of system. We was already planning on doing this. We've sold boards in the store in the past and just received a large order of PCBs last week. We'll do the same with our new 2600, 7800 shells as I received the first production run. So that means he will have lots and lots of supplies for making your own cartridges. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see the prices on that. Um, so you kind of be able to piece together your own chips and boards and cartridges and print your own labels. Mm -hmm. So cool. very, very cool. That is very cool. Yeah. So and especially the wide array that he has 2600, 5200, 7800, Jaguar and ColecoVision. So a so, lot. Oh, a yeah. lot. <laughs> it covers a lot. That's really cool uh next up is a tool that's that um k israel posted in the atari age forums it's for drawing title screens on the 2600 in batari basic um he says i found out that some homebrewers are using player pal 2600 to do 48 pixel sprites like for a title screen and fancying myself as the provider of the finest browser-based graphic and sound tools for the Atari available, I thought I'd make a new tool for that with help uh, on the side from Carl G. It lets you edit a 48 by 192 graphic and then generate an assembly kernel and a wrapper Batari Basic program to run it. I'm open for suggestions for the name of it, but now, for now it's Title Screen Titan. Um, so basically, you can draw your own title screen on here just using your mouse <laughs> um and it's got some basic to oh, basic to, i've got my i'm a toggle so you can set it to just draw nice. it's got uh, a line drawing mm. tool as well if you want to underline things or put a border around it uh and a rectangle oh go in there <laughs> Uh, let's put the as periods. There we go. There's a good use for it. <laughs> and you can erase things if you're like make a mistake. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Oh, it's oh, a nice. You can ooh. erase rectangles. Okay. Nice. That's cool. So let's make a bigger one because it was too small. There we go. <laughs> um, and then you can you can set the height as well because you can make it bigger if you want to fill the whole screen. Nice. Uh, and then you can download it as in a basic wrapper. So you can just run it immediately after oh. you compile it or an assembly uh, in assembly as well. And then you have to compile that too. Um, and then he's got some to-do stuff here. Uh, color picker, because you'd be able to do a different l color for every line. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh... So you could do a color line mm -hmm. and then ZPH in a different color and then change the color at the bottom as well. Mm. Uh, copy paste. I guess you could copy parts of it and paste it elsewhere. That's cool. Undo, very handy. Even one level of undo is handy. Uh, import from source codes. So you'd be able to alter existing ones. Nice. Uh, different modes. Uh, assembly playfield, Batari Basic playfield, Batari Basic DPC Plus playfield as well. Uh, and import from a graphics file. That I can see being very oh, handy. Oh, that's cool. So you could take an existing picture and then clean it up, I guess. Cause if so right now it's just black and white. Just black and gotcha. white. Um, I've seen his other tools where you can set line by line which color. What color? Um, yeah, he's a, he has a lot of tools for music mm. and graphics. Have we looked at some of his tools on the show before? Uh, I'm very certain Yeah, I have. think so. He's got a player graphic tool where you can actually set line by line. Mm. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, so it'll come, very, come in handy for homebrewers. Yes. Like these tools would be great because it's just a really quick way mm. and then you can alter it later in code mm -hmm. or go back especially importing it back into it to work on it after because mm -hmm. right now if you close the browser it's, it's gone right so having some way to uh import from source code and work on it mm. later and update it because you want to look at it on a real screen and then go oh it's too wide or not yeah, wide enough i don't like this or, the aspect yeah. ratio isn't quite right i don't know if he's if these are square or no, oh, they looks like the aspect ratio is right. They're it more looks... more rectangular. Yeah. yeah, it's like the aspect ratio is different based on pixel sizes mm. and and CRTs are like 0.9 wa tall as they are wide and things mm. like that. So mm. looks like he might have it set up right. 
Um, he said, feedback and constructive criticism is welcome. I like to make things, I like to things pi people find useful. I like to make things people find useful. <laughs> uh, hearing two people use player pal for this stuff was enough to get me going on this. So that's great. Time to play some games. That's all the news. Are you ready for playing Sly Boy? Yes. In Maze Land, trying to complete it. We didn't make it super far last time. I can't remember what level we made it up to. We have to. But can't even remember. Uh, time to try a bit harder this time. <laughs> because he's finished. So, you know. Okay. So. Ready. So this is a great action puzzle game. Mostly puzzle, but it's about solving it quickly because you get bonus points for it. Mm. Test by crossbow. Nice. Because he's been doing giving a lot of feedback to VHZC. Great title screen. Um, now, easy gives you more time. Okay. But you get less points. I... So I would go for easy because we want to see the levels. Yeah. Right? We don't want to run out of time. And more time will give you more time to think about them. Classic VHZC font. The outline font. It's great. So good. Love it. Oh, that's very loud. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. RIP headphone users. Sorry. So we've played some of these. Yes. Um, you get a pause between them, which is good. Yes. Yeah, it's very good because these are timed. You get, I mean, you do die if you run out of time and you get less points if you run out of time too. So, so the updates since <sighs> what... Time. Level two. Oh, I know. I was trying to. I was trying to do too much at once. That's that's what kills you. Updates since we last played. Uh, released candidate number one. So you completed the fifty screens uh, last time. Uh, some changes in layout and sprites of previous rooms. This is February twenty third. February twenty fourth corrects glitch in screen number fifty. Mm -hmm. If no, <laughs> yeah. if no bug is reported, then this will pass to the final version. Uh, February 25th, release candidate 3.1. Oh, yeah, uh, eliminates pause while moving issue. Now pause only works when slide boy is still. Remember the button pauses, but it makes the screen blank. Uh, cosmetic changes, corrects visual issue while holding pause. And then on February 25th, Thomas Yench discovered an issue that may appear on glitchy TIAs. Um, and TIA is the thing that draws. <laughs> Panicked. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm usually better at these. <laughs> draws the screen. Uh, television interface adapter. Whoa, that was close. I know that was close. Panic move, Metal Lunar 7 yeah. says. Yeah, there's panic going to happen. It is an action puzzler, so there's going to be some action and panic. <laughs> Too much panic. The, uh, the alternative is Tanya staring at the screen for 20 minutes before making a move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's no action. And I'm glad I'm doing it on easy. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Um, I suggest that you test your game with developer settings and especially TAA glitches enabled. In a brief test, the latter shows three minor problems, which you can see in the attached screenshots. Um, so in the screenshots, it showed the score yeah. being cut off or there was a problem with the score. Mm. You can keep going. Um, because developer settings, uh, emulate glitches in real hardware. What is happening? I'm not moving fast enough. I'm pausing. <laughs> um, it's like I know that's the wrong move, but you get stuck sometimes because it, it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Ugh. it's not a move at a time. You have to do. You have to do two multiple or three, moves. or you do get stuck, right? Oh, I forgot. What am I doing again? You got to exit. Yeah, you have to go down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just missed the news. It's all cool. This is this is the first game. Vitoko, game welcome. <laughs> Started earlier. Mm, we didn't have much news. No. So 
we opened opened two packages, including this brand new T-shirt, which I love. Um, and uh, I think three news items. Yeah, you can rewind it later. Um, so, and Carl G added, unfortunately, it's unlikely anything could be done to help with the score area glitches for quirky TIAs. Uh, the B Batari basic score uses very precise timing to be able to draw the play field on either side of the score, which is also why it's slightly off center. There's not really any wiggle room to change the timing to make it play nicer with quirky TIAs. So I think it was the timing between... I think that timer is playfield because you can see it's chunking down. And he was talking about the the room between the score and the playfield, which is like four pixels there, I think, or eight pixels. It's not much room anyway. So uh, what VHC did is he changed the font instead, so that oh. I think he maybe shifted his whole font to A the left. A little over, yeah. Yeah rather than start adjusting things. Um, but any developers out there, make sure you play around with developer settings on Stella because it will... No, I can't do that. No. It will show you things that you may miss because Stella kind of smooths things out, mm. especially jumping lines and um, other things that may happen on a real system. Um, it kind of corrects things. Dan says, looks cool. Yes, looks really cool. Yeah, it's VHC. Of course. It's going to look awesome. This is one of those... I th this game has levels where you can do... Multiple ways. Multiple ways. And yeah, you did yeah, it yeah. a way that I've never done it there. It looked a lot harder. Probably. Because <laughs> you have to like sneak in between mm. the, the rotating thing, that one. Um, and so February 27th, uh, VHZC said, okay, new font and release candidate four. So we updated the font. So it, uh, it still looks like a VHZC font. So it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's got the outline. And then March 9th, RC4 promoted to final. So and this is the one we're playing is the uh, final version. So unless somebody finds a crazy bug. Mm. No, other way. Um, it's going to be the one that's maybe going to go on cartridge. I, I would think this this game I would think would go on cartridge. It's a it's a great puzzle game. Yeah, and yeah. there's lots of levels. <laughs> lots of levels. So there's a lot of replay uh, value in terms of your score because you get more score. It's not just like oh you finished all 50 levels you're done. It's about speed at that point. Crossbow says, it's gotta hurry, time's running out on the last one, I guess. Yeah, you used up about half the speed. Yeah, even on easy, you have to well, keep it moving. If you know exactly what to do when you well, start, yes. it's fine, but when you're like, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> that you is have true. to kind of look at it. Um, just That's before the show, cool, um, Crossbow, who just said that, um, he said, my best score score so far in Slide Boy is around seven, 1,778. I think. I usually average about 1750 when he play, when wow. I play. He's playing on hard mode though. Yeah. And and it's probably easier once you do all the levels in easy mode because you kind of know what you have to do on each level and you can do it a lot faster. Classic VHZC going in between two things that are moving. Ah, terrible timing. Oh, my turn now that I've <laughs> read all the things. Um what was I going to say? Yeah, the classic uh, uh, curtain rods. <laughs> yep. Were you playing on normal? I maybe was playing a, on easy. Maybe a reset. I think too. we might have... Were we playing on normal last time? Because it felt a lot we harder to complete. We were. Easy, you definitely have a little bit more time to kind of pause and think about what you're doing. So. And to, you know, not panic. <laughs> panic. Panic time. You panic? Where are the cats? Uh, are the cats? Fed and rested, I guess. Sleeping upstairs. Jesus, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my god, I just went just a little too mm -hmm. early. 
these two really do have to kind of time the way down. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> just practice. Just practice. This one is surprisingly hard to get the timing for some reason. It is. There's there's not a lot of room. There, there's it's, there's it's, enough. It's easier on the way back. But oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that first pass. You want it on just as you as it's going up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe... You did it the way I... Yeah, that's oh, the way I did it. Oh, maybe this is the way you do it. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I think I that's how thinking, I did it. Maybe it, it just looked harder than I realized. Mm. I was slow. Well, yeah. I was like... Mm. This one's not too bad. No. Oops. No, this is what you have to do. Yeah. You have to go down. And up. And then... Down again. Down again and around. And out. This oh, kills me. Luckily, it's right near an edge, mm -hmm. so you get kind of almost a, a lot of time to, to catch it. Yes. This one, I always forget that... Um, oh, you're going up the other side? Yes. Yeah. That you have to think about the other side. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh... Do -do -do. Oh, I got an extra life. Yay! Extra Is that at 150? This extra life. Ooh, Still you close. You just snuck past that. One pixel off, yeah. that's for sure. Yay, level 10. Smash. Oh. Smash. Oof, that is. That is. That's it's relatively this, tight. Yep. Why did I make it to last time? I, I think we saw that. I think you saw. I don't remember. I don't this. remember this. He no. may have changed things, though. He might have. I have a feeling he. What? How do I do it? Oh, I know. Okay. Oh, there you Some go. Some things are not immediately I, in, in, obvious. Instantaneously, it's like, yeah. Where? What shelf do I have to hit? <laughs> Up, down. Okay. Fifty. Oh my god. <gasps> no. Oh yeah, you can't hit the door. Damn right. it! You have to go down to the bottom. We've made it this far. Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah I we think have that, I think you changed he the graphic. He might have moved some of the um, levels around. Uh, that's possible, but I, I think he might have just changed the graphic on that one. Oh, you could have gone straight, but. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Hey, VHZC. Hey, VHZC. Thanks for joining us and watching me die instantly. Oh, Crossbow. I've never played this on easy, so it is interesting to see the difference in the points and time countdown. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely more time, which is good. <laughs> yeah, because we just want to see levels at this point. Yeah. Hey, you don't get as many points on easy. Thank you, Mighty Funster. Thank you, Mighty Funster, for subscribing. Oh, this Evening is the dark to one. You. The dark one. The dark There's level. always a dark level. Dark maze. Oh, another life, which I need. Mm. Yeah, 150, I think. I remember you hitting the dark level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find your safe spaces. <laughs> ah! You have, you have to, to go up. Go, no, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, do not smack into that. You have to okay. go down into the to left, left, which yes. is a pretty quick. <gasps> oh my you god, I moved. didn't know it went down that safe far. Safe space, safe space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Panic. Ah. Panic cat. Panic cat. <laughs> oh, wasting lives. I haven't found a quick way to get through this screen yet. Mm. Is that the dark? No, not the dark mm. one, I'm sure. Yeah, because The last there's... one you just did is pretty slow. Because there's ones where you need to, um... Ah! You have to go pretty quick, I think. Not like that. Yeah. Gee, 17. Um... I think you need to go up. Yeah. Or not. Up and just immediately, like, a down like yeah. that. Yeah. There you go. Good you job. You have to do a bunch of moves mm. to get it out of the way. Mm. Okay. Nothing 
moving? Nope, just a timer, right? Oh no, they're gonna move, okay, good. Ooh, boy, am I gonna hit that ledge? I have to, right? There's no way I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> and you just go, because you can't turn back. <laughs> you can't run. turn back. Not There's true. no mid-turning in this no, game. Once you go, you have to commit. Can you see what that is? That was a very large noise. Oh, can't go that way. Bangy, bangy noise somewhere, like... Metal? Banging? I don't know if you guys heard that. This one's just about going fast, I think. Yes, I heard that. Oh my god. These cats are cooking their meal. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, our neighbor did have a big box in front of their door, so, oh, okay. so maybe that was it falling in, or I don't know. Could be. Oh. Somebody said cats are cooking their meal. Yeah. Or thunderstorm. <laughs> it was loud. It was loud. Uh, yes. Yeah, I heard that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I saw the new X EXO screens you posted. Really cool. Yes, we will be doing an exclusive premiere of EXO on Friday with the Dragonfly cart. Nice. So we'll be doing a Dragonfly cart special. Atari is here and wondering what's going on. He's hey. like, where's the treats? <laughs> Hi, buddy. I was promised treats. Yeah. Oh, God. Hi, buddy. Okay. Gonna come up? And then go up here and go for it. Oh. You're not supposed to catch the coins, no? Kitten. Psst. Get away from there. Nope. Away. Away from there. Come here. Away. Away. Come here. There you go. Come here. Nope. Nope. Uh, I have to go up. I have to go up here. Treats. That's safe. That's safe. That's safe. That's safe. That's safe. And I'm safe here. Are you on the screen? Safe here. On the it's kind of close. Love the sprite work. Very polished look. Oh, Very, yes. Yes. Slide Boy is great. The HZC's uh, graphics are always just astounding. This looks too easy. Oh, it's all going to show up. Oh, my God. Wow. That's cool. That nice. was really cool. A maze that pops in. Uh, no. I'll go there, then go there, then go there, then go there. Nope. No! Oh, my God. Too fast. Another life should be coming soon. There, there, Down. oh my god, oh there, there, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Whew. Wow, some of these are thinkers. Yay, good kitty. Good kitty, there you go, there you go. Okay, nothing dangerous yet. Is the timed one? Nope, okay. Whew. I'm always expecting some slamming... Terrible thing to decapitate you as you're going... come out and kill you. <laughs> oh, oh, good little kitty. Bats. Good kitty. There's another good kitty. This is just about getting Ooh, through it yeah. quick. Nice. Okay. Good okay. job. Yeah. Extra life? Oh, almost. Oh. Almost. Uh, thanks. Hoping you guys will give it a good drive in due course. Lots... Oh, God. What am, what is oh my god. Out? Up? No. That's goes through the green. Does it? No, it goes through oh, the other part. Good kitty. That's there a big go. fungy thing. Oh my god. Okay, safe. <sighs> you have to That's crazy. You have to it's think, like two full screens. You have to think in portals. <laughs> Once more? Kitties. Okay, now let's get over to those bats. Ooh, I'll give you some close. more. I'll give you some more. Ring the bell. Ring oh the god. Bell. There we go. Level 
30? Was that? I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, I don't see a thing to do. What's the arrow? I am guessing I have to push that arrow over. Maybe. Oh. And then it makes a safe oh, area. Oh, interesting. But I can't. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Wow, it blocks the... This is amazing, VHZC. This is amazing. So nothing's open right now. Oh, that opens a portal. This is so cool. You need to make a, a construction set for this. <laughs> like make, oh, your own, make your own. Make yeah. your own levels and mazes. That would be fun. Oh my god, that would be amazing because there's so much possibility here. Oh, so many. Dick, 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 dick. Yeah. Yeah, level editor would be cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, that would be the ultimate. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, no, a moving thing. Oh, it's not too bad, though. Oh, mm -hmm. damn it. It was just, it's such a far distance. You have to move, like, as it's moving, I think. Yeah. You can't wait till it stops. That's the... Mean, mean. <laughs> oh my god. Well, 34. Well, if I don't make it this. Oh, oh my what? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Is there no continue? No, there's oh, no. Oh, I'm considering an 8 bit version that could have. Ooh, a level uh, editor. A le level editor. Very cool. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Can you pick your level? No. Uh, there might be a. He may have put in like a special thing where you could pick your level is there is there a pick a level picker vhc no well i mean through like switches and stuff and sometimes they must be moving our neighbors to that side are moving oh. out possibly as well so it could be them i don't know noisy get 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 get, get. Is this is eight or 16k it is for VHC, 32k F4. So it's 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 a bunch of information. There's a lot of mazes, a lot of graphics, a lot of unique graphics. Hey, crossbow, for the time being. It's back and forth. Are you the one making the noises upstairs, crossbow? <laughs> Someone's making a lot of noise. Eight bit like fifty two hundred? Oh, not many people make fifty two hundred games. There's like one one guy who makes fifty two hundred games. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Whitmer is that his name? Yeah. X L X E. Yeah. Whoa, close. Yeah, much much easier that yeah. way. Why do you want to keep going over there? I know why. He's, his eyeballs are like directly on that HDMI cable. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Use get, get, an get. HDMI cable eater. Come, come cuddle. No, don't go straight back there. Come cuddle. Cuddle cat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. From what I gather. The 5200 is really, really, really similar. There's obviously the inputs are different because the joystick is very different. Um, I can't remember the list of things that you need to change, but it's it's not insignificant. I think memory, like you have to move around how it uh, how your program is stored on the 5200 because there's some people. Uh, in the forums that do conversions from 8-bit to 5200 and back as well. More more limited on memory. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yes, Ryan Whitmer is the 5200. The guy who made um, curling for the 5200. <laughs> I just do what you always complain about. I wasn't oh, no. paying attention on the other side. Yes, oh my god. I, luckily, I did pay attention when I did it this time. 5200 is probably the only Atari I've never experienced in the flesh. I've never seen a PAL version. Oh, yeah. 
I guess I just really didn't, uh, I mean, it was 5200 was very limited here in North America, so finding a PAL version would be even more rare, that's for sure. Can't wait for Ryan's Tron game. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. That is a game I am going to dig out the 5200 for. Yeah. Tron? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And possibly do um, a mod on one of my 5200s so that, uh, well, I'll probably do the mod on the four port one mm -hmm. and also mod the power supply because the 5200s have ridiculous power supplies especially the four port the power what is it the power and the video go through one cable it's How? ridiculous power and video yes it's bad what would bad be news. the advantage of doing that one cable oh i guess so yeah it's the worst ever design that you can imagine um and they they, they got rid of that when they made the two port mm. version because he's making a uh, Tron Discs um, game, a Ryan, uh, Ryan Whitmer, and uh, it's a four-player game. So you can have four people throwing discs around, trying to get each other, but you could only do that with a four-port 5200. Of course, I'd need four joysticks for the 5200 as well. I have six non-functional ones. Six? <laughs> oh. But I have one adapter that you can use uh, Sega Genesis controllers on or any other joysticks uh, nine pin joysticks um, and as long as the other ones have movement and the buttons work then that's fine this one is Rough. challenging he's all over the place some of these early levels are a lot more challenging than the later ones. Depends on the level. Really. He mixes it up quite a bit. Yeah, because he, he, he doesn't, he kind of bounces. And it sparks every time you turn it on. Yes, the 5200. Does it really? It goes, Psh. it's it's frightening. Ah, ah, ah. I plugged it in once and I was like, uh, I don't think I want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> so I don't have really, I don't have a 5200 that's like ready to go right now, but... That that game, oh. IntelliDiscs, I think it's called, is uh, is worth getting one out mm. and getting one modded. Where did I pull the Pokey chip from? I think I pulled it from a two port, so I still have a fully intact four port. But I can put the Pokey from Best Electronics in the other one if I need to. The two port just uses a standard power brick. Does it? Oh, okay, good. Okay, well that's easy then. But if I want to have four players, I have to have a four port uh, Atari 5200. Ah! Oh no. What am I missing? What am I missing? S. Ramirez says, I only had one friend that owned a 5200 back in the day. I never had heard of a 5200 back in the day. So saying only one friend is actually amazing that you had one friend. The 2600 also sparks. It does. Sometimes when I plug it in, the power, even when it's off, it goes just a little tiny spark. Can you see it? Where does it spark? Uh, when you plug the power when you touch the power to the uh, the metal power on oh. the back of it. Uh. Yeah. It's disconcerting, that's for sure, but, you know, there's things built into it that make sure that it doesn't destroy your 2600. You had a 5200 with a 2600 adapter. Wow. Those are fairly rare. 2600 adapters for the 5200. So when it came out, people were complaining that, oh, I can't play my 2600 games on it. Like they could with the 7800. Not really familiar with the 5200. Did it come out before the 7800? Or after? I just don't remember. Because the 7800 came out in 1984. When did the 5200 come out? came out in 82 so they're kind of made around the same time because the 70 
800 is made in 82. That's very strange that they would make two consoles in the same year. Very, very strange. Well, the 70, well, the 2600 was still doing just fine. So they would have had three, three, they literally did have three consoles out at the same time. The 7800 was made to be backwards compatible just because of the fact that 5200 wasn't initially. Okay, so that was an afterthought then. So technically the 5200 was made first in 82. Before... <laughs> Good moves. Just following the Fancy moves. It, yeah. <laughs> because I swear I read that the 7800, they made a ton of them in 82 and stockpiled them. Till the, um, the agreements were settled between, um, the different companies that, um, purchased Atari. Because somebody made, like GCC made the 76, 7800, um, but they weren't paid and they were like, oh, we got to get paid. Of course. I'm going in a circle. There you go. Oh no, it is timed! <laughs> I don't know. There you go, to the right. Oh, that'll work too. That's what you have to do. I was like, I what did, am I, I missing? I did it different. Oh, I went like this. I did a little snaking, ah. snakiness. How are you doing, Pixel? Yeah, 7800 was first released in 84, not 82. Yeah. But they made a bunch in 82. That's when they were ready. Because that's what all the um, copyright dates say. 82 for the 70. 7800, even though it was released in 84. And that's why they have a whole bunch of arcade ports in 84, which seems ridiculous for all these games that came out in 80 when they're on all these other systems. Uh, I didn't see the 7800 until 86. I thought it was re-released in 86. Hmm. 7800 was designed in 83. Okay, well, dates are all messed up then. I swear that the, the um, copyright dates were 82 on the cartridges. Do they have any? I don't think I do have any. Nearby. Oh, I do. I don't think this is an early release. Galaga. No, this is late. 88. Never mind. That's not going to help us at all. Those bats, they look so familiar. Didn't like, aren't they, they really look like, um, what's that guy's name? That makes the millions and millions of games. Oh, you're gonna get my t-shirt on, Fluffy. Um, yes, he is, that's what he's here for. Chris Reed, those look like Chris Reed's bats. Like really look like Chris Reed's bats. Um, so there was one game where there's, it's you and a bunch of bats and there's like a hundred levels and you're dodging these bats. Okay. Maybe it's 84 I'm thinking of then. And then most people got it in 86. Is there, I just remember the two years, two year gap. 2600 land. That's his name. Atari 2600 land? Something like that. A lot of noise going on over there. Hard to tell where it's coming from. I can't tell Next either. door or somewhere else. I don't know. Somebody's moving a lot of stuff. One way or the other. I'm doing this wrong. Uh, nope. There you go. <laughs> the 84 pole position, 7800 carts usually have active plaque on them too. Uh -oh. I have a late pal model that's a spawn of Satan. <laughs> I have, 
many 7800s? I think I have three 7800s and three 5200s. Why I have three 5200s, I have no idea. I don't play any of them. And they're massive. Do I have one here? Yeah. Oh, I do. Is this the largest console ever made? Or does the Neo Geo beat it? No, this is way bigger than Neo Geo. This is a blunt object. <laughs> this is for bludgeoning. <laughs> yeah, this. I'm trying to figure out the date on this. Down, down. Should have gone down. No, I can't tell by the serial number what date it is. Why not? I have three 5200s myself. Uh, no, we live in a townhouse, which is a fancier apartment, <laughs> I guess. Because we have a front door. So it's a townhouse. But it is a complex. So we have neighbors, you know, all over the place. Ah! Oh, this is the one I died on. Yeah, it is. <gasps> how did you get up so high? I don't know Didn't how Didn't even happened. notice. How Good did job. that happen? 35. Was I watching you play? I don't know. <laughs> That's a possibility. Cheater. Watching me play. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. Yay! Yay! Three fifty two hundred, you can make a townhouse. Yeah, you could build a small fort. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. What are you doing? Just have to go here? Yeah. Oh, cool. Ooh. Okay, there's a lot of noise happening. There's a lot of noise. Uh, up? No. Oh, yeah. Up that's right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I had to go back. You're running out of time. Mentally, I was like, One oh, One of us I have has to go got back. to make it to 50. <laughs> You've got three lives. It's awesome. That's Don't. Now you're putting pressure on me. You're doing amazing. No, shush. <laughs> There's no way you can lose. Uh. <laughs> Didn't the early produce 7800 expansion port on the side? Yes, because I'm. There's a list of 7800 models in the Atari Age forums. Hmm. No, I have to go around the other way. Oh, okay, that works. Oh, oh, wow. That is... Oh, up. You could have gone out. What? Just up and to the right. There. Oh. Get out. Like, oh, what are you I doing? Thought, I thought because the button came back. I thought I had to go hit the oh, button again. Oh, yeah. It's my fault. No, there's a, uh, a forum thread in the Atari 8. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Why did why? I do that? In the thread where people are listing if they have a 7800 with the expansion port. Which most consoles expansion port is never used. Mm -hmm. Up, over, down, yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, I know. <gasps> no! Oh, I wasn't thinking! Oh, I, wasn't I saw thinking. that! I saw that coming! <laughs> I saw that coming. Because you're paying attention to what I'm doing now. You're just blah, blah, blah <laughs> next to me. Not paying attention. Well, these are new levels. So I now, know. Now I, now I can. Now you're freaking me out. Ooh. <laughs> Last life. <laughs> Level 40. Ten more to go. You can do it. You can do it. Is it gonna go after me? <laughs> I, that's what I'm scared of now. <gasps> <laughs> creepy. He's looking at you. He's creepy. He's kind of smiling. Ah. Whoa! It changed. Yes, it did. I think I think on um, hard or normal, 
some of these would be just hard to do fast enough. Yes. You know, yeah. there's no time to kind of. Ooh, two. Nice. Two arrows to move. Oh, now you got to push it over again. Make the path open. And then you got to go back around. Oh, that's, oh, very, that's cool. very cool. Again, <laughs> uh, oh having gosh. to do this with speed. So cool. Yeah. Vlad's signature skull. I know, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy skull. <laughs> 5207 Expansion Port 2, again, never used. Uh, oh, run it, away! Is it hidden? <laughs> oh my god! He's chasing me! <gasps> oh my god, you're so lucky. So lucky. Oh my god, something that chases you. Mm. That's like that other game. Um, that we die on the level where it's like, no, you... It's a puzzle, but they're chasing you through a maze, and they can go through walls, and you can't? Oh, wow. What the hell is this? Dark? <gasps> Down! <laughs> that small plate on the right. Oh, okay. The plate that you have to snap off? Or does this come off? This is like, snap, this thing? want to not go after the HDMI cable? Oh, oh my god. That almost killed me. <sighs> Slicers. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> you're terrified. Oh my god. I don't want you to watch me do it because <laughs> you're freaking me out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so much easier when he's not paying attention. <sighs> There's a time limit. You do have to move. How did you... How did he do these balls? They're so far apart. Oh, well, I guess you could. With some clever programming. <gasps> no! Wasted! No, it took me a while to figure it out! I, I was like, you have a time to go! I know, but I have to figure out what to do first. <laughs> it's just avoid the balls. <laughs> oh, what a waste of a life! If you don't make it to 50. Uh, don't! Don't do it! <laughs> now you're freaking me out! <laughs> go! Oh my god. Imagine that on hard. This one kind of sucks. No fast way through this one. Yeah. No. It's about getting that first time in really quick. Okay, careful. Here. That thing's... Oh, it's gonna blow you. It's gonna blow you, yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, no. You have to go down. Go over to the left. Oh, you can do that too. What? Go down. Over to the right. Up. Go get the... Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I see. How do I get out? Ooh. Damn it. Oh, you have to get back down to your initial spot. There you go. Ah! Oh! No! <laughs> no! That was terrible! God! <laughs> oh, you have to move faster! Faster! <laughs> faster! Thinking too much. <laughs> I am thinking too much. No continues. That's okay. That it's one easy. had that one had it's no death in it. You just move like move 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 but move. But I was move. <laughs> move faster. You're like just move. Well, we'll see if you get there. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I got to run through them in one shot. <laughs> you can do it. You should be doing it on hard. No, no. We just want to see the end. Hard is for another day. <laughs> Hard is, Heart is for crossbow. <laughs> yes, hard is for crossbow. Uh, 
We're just at least seeing it. I mean, you're running out of time on easy, so... <laughs> so I'm, close. I'm not about to, uh... Again, if you watch someone do it, you have an idea of, of your path, but uh, well, when you it's gonna do it be, for the first time... It's going to be a bit better now, because I've seen some of the new yeah. levels. Yeah. I missed some, though. rooms in total. Mm -hmm. JC Church, it does look amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. Is amazing. <laughs> it's a fun, fun, fun game. I can't think of a bad game from VHZ. No. <laughs> They're just all amazing. With great That's the worst thing in this whole game. It makes your heart go. <laughs> Good night, Muddy Funster. <laughs> night, Muddy Funster. See you on Friday for your premiere. Ooh, that was tight. Ah! What? The joystick, I back. held I held it too long. Oh, no. And it and it got to that edge. Yeah, you truly I, only need to go click once. You know, yeah. Luckily, I, I didn't die. Yeah. I find this one so tight for some reason, especially it trying is. to get out the, the door. Oof. That was tight too. I went too early. I was anticipating it. Last time I was just almost too late. Mm. Can you get more than four lives? Do they go into reserve? Yeah, I swear he changed the graphic on that. Oh. Oh, down and around. Like up or up and around, sorry, is what I meant to say. Up and around? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, ah, oh, how do you get there? Nope, four is max. Four is max. Says, okay. yeah. So you can't get So more. I'm not going to gain any yeah. 50 more points here. Nice. There's a secret, of course, there's a secret room. <sighs> I'm not going to find it. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe by accident, but that's about it. Nope. Yeah. Damn you it! No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm about to get an extra life, so that's good. I don't know that doesn't work, because I've died every time on it. <laughs> Sucker for running into that. Ooh, so tired today. Yeah, mm. bad sleep. Mm -hmm. All the banging from the neighbors. <laughs> Maybe. What's going on over there? Stop, though. For the time being. Yeah, they're definitely moving stuff. I don't know what neighbors it is. Oh my either. god, what's happening? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see the spider room yet? Yes, yes, the dropping oh, yeah, spiders. That's yeah, super in different cool. colors. It's pretty awesome. Oops. Yeah. It always takes you by. You're like, oh, I can't get past. The left. Deadly. Deadly. Deadly red slime. Go. <laughs> Just gotta do it real fast. Yeah, multiple moves. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the hardest ones. Yeah. It's interesting, some of the mazes are like you are supposed to hit a wall. Yeah. It blocks or, your path. Or you hit a wall and you're not expecting to just catch yourself yeah. on that wall. Yeah, and you think you can go through, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, just a dark one. Like that. Like that. <laughs> Like, uh, you think what? you can get through? No. Get there. I like the the door turns yellow too. Mm-hmm. Electrified door. 
Got to have these hallmarks of VHZC in the levels, the lightning, the skulls. Oh my god, I accidentally pressed over. Really like the animation. Oh, yes, the lightning the is lightning's perfect. beautiful. And and that you... little little splash of that spark. What's going on here? It's Scared. the coins. Oh, you just follow them. Yeah, yeah. it's not that too was, bad. That was a good thing that you showed. <laughs> so yeah. just follow yeah, the fine. Just follow them. There's no panic just... necessary. <laughs> this one's not too bad. It looks more deadly than it is. <laughs> It's, it's fast, though. You have to time it. It's quite fast to go back and forth. That's it the is. only thing, but yeah. Some of VHZC's levels in various games look very deadly. Look vicious, yeah. But when you actually do it, it's like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. This is how I did it last time, which is very slow. Way. Oh. You do it a faster way, but did I can't I? remember how it Yeah, but then you get caught and you have to yeah. go up. Yeah. What? Nope. <gasps> I can't go there either. How did I do this? There. Down? Yes. Yeah. Then left? Oh, down. yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> that was very tight. Oh, my goodness. I don't understand that level. It looks like something bad's going to happen. But it's like, no, this is fairly straightforward. Oh, those bats are cute. They're super cute. <laughs> Very cute bats. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so... Yeah, you... It looks like you're going to go through that green and die, but you're not. You just have to uh, be careful of the lightning when you hit the button. It's, it's not too bad. It's confusing because the in is not yeah. with the out. <laughs> yeah. Bats again. Bats. Good job. Hooray! Dude, that was close. <laughs> uh huh. You have to go back around. Right. I can see after playing this mm. and knowing all the levels, you're just like, boom, 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 I know this one. Mm. You can just like power your way through it. Yeah. Like you just you've just played it so many times you're like yeah boom, boom, boom. and then you do the, the hard level which requires that you actually do the most minimal moves probably as quickly as possible yes yeah fast and minimal yeah yeah so you don't get caught on things and... mm -hmm. it's a very cool game <laughs> oh my gosh yes how you do that yeah one. you have to start it before you, as it's going as it down. goes down yeah. yeah okay <laughs> oh panic my God. so it's not actually chasing you. no 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 this one isn't the yellow one in that previous one it's actually not that bad if you kind of follow it what? you have to go up up Ugh. and then back down <laughs> I didn't watch this level when you were playing it. The H said, yeah, I spent more time trying to get the correct sound for the lighting, lightning than Zzz. making the lightning itself. Sound is tricky. Yeah. It's a good lightning sound, too. Oh, yeah. Oof. You don't have a standard lightning sound by now? <laughs> 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 for all your games? I would have thought you'd be like, oh, throw in the lightning sound. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, great lightning sound. What was the other one we were talking this about? This is the spider. The sproying, this, the spring sound. Um, on, uh, what game was that? Two and three. There you go. Good job. It was, it was VHZC's game we played recently. It had a great spring sound. Oh, uh, mm, that night guy. 
Yeah, night guy. Castle in, days or night guy in low res world. Uh, twenty six hundred yeah. version. We played that, that pretty recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like boing, doink, doink, doink. I love the spring. It was really good, it spring, was good sound. spring sound. Sound is tricky. Yeah, yeah. especially on the twenty six hundred. This is the moving. Now it's easy to go down. Oh, and then yeah. you Spoosh. And then you can get out. Very, very cool. Yeah. Spring, Spring sound. sound on night guy. Yeah, yeah. That was really good yeah, sound. I really like that a lot. This was. Oh my god. Challenging. What do we have to do? Down, go down and around. First. Right. Then. Down that takes here. you down to the other, other corner. Yeah. Then you have to hit that. And then be careful when you come back. Yeah. It's all time. Yay! Hooray! Lagging really bad tonight. Not sure what's up. Uh, oh, sorry to us. hear that. <laughs> uh, creepy skull. Creepy no, skull. We're perfect. Zero frames dropped. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy skull. Creepy skull watching. Every move. At least he's stuck in. Stuck in a spot. <laughs> Can't go after you. Buffering every five seconds. Yeah, mm. Metal Lunar likes it too. I love the, the head yeah. shifting. This one, was this where it died? No. No, no, there's no death in this one. It's just moving this No, I, I, uh, I ran out of time. Oh, you did? I think Not you... on this one, though. No? This one was pretty straightforward, I yeah. think. Yeah. What are, we, what are you up to? 42. Get yeah, almost there. Yeah. Oh, oh God. I just like... He started following me, so I just ran in He's the other in a direction. Pattern. He is in a pattern, but it's really rando. It's a really rando pattern. That's freaky, and you don't yeah. have any really. You're just like ah, ah down a up. Place <laughs> to be like safe. Yeah. This is just like. Does this take no? This one. You just have to get out of the way on that one. Yeah. Oh, you went the other the wrong way, but that's okay. Oh. You have to hit the button. Yeah. Yeah, you could have gone straight down, straight over. Hush. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God! It was there. And it opens That's as you go by. That's what it did by. for me too. So freak me out. Yeah, I don't know. If it's like I didn't open you it. Hit it. This one wasn't too bad. No, you just have to pay attention to where these goes down. The pattern. Then... Right? Yes. Is... Yeah. Okay. Good job. It's just two of them. Yeah. Oh, this is the one I hit the button and went right back, <laughs> and I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. slicer. Not much time. Not a lot of time now. Uh, you have to time it just before. Yeah. Forty movement. This is where I died. Oh. Uh, no, no, this wasn't the next one. I think you did die in this one once. Uh, yeah, you were freaking me out. Because you're like sitting there staring Nick, at Nick, because I'm trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> I'm like, they just move in the I same know, pattern. I know, I know. You know, you don't want to die. No, so. you don't. <laughs> but you will if the this time is runs I out. Oh boy. This is the one that I couldn't quite figure out what I was doing, so you can't get yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, and then you have to do this. That's yeah. right. And then you have to get out. <laughs> no. No, up. no, what are you doing? Okay, tell me, quick. <sighs> Down. Yep. Up. Yep. To the right. Yep. Down. Yep. To the left. Nope. Oh my god. How do you do this one? No up. <laughs> oh, here it is. <gasps> That's Damn okay. It. That's only one life. You still have another three. Okay, let's do this quick. How did you get over to the right? Oh. Up? Okay, go to the right. Up? No, what are you doing? No, you just screwed it up. Okay. Go yep. up to the right. Yep. Up oh, yeah. And down. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, video is frozen. Reboot. <laughs> Refresh if the video's frozen. Everyone's like, up right, up, not down. <laughs> okay, oh, Mr. creepy skull. He's doing a figure eight, so it's not too bad. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. The video keeps buffering. Hmm. Oh, okay, go here. Yeah. Oh, 
up and around. Okay, great. There you go. Woo! Only two lives left. Two levels left, two lives left. Oh my god. It's predictable at least. Mm. You have to go down and around. Mm. To the, no, oh, that works too. <gasps> down, down, Yep. and then hit oh. the up one, and then go across, is my suspicion. Oh my god, how do I get it? Uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's the last life. I didn't, like... This oh. one is tricky, says oh, no. Thanks. So down, down, there. Don't have, I can't. Um, I don't know where to get caught on. I can't get caught on any of these things. Oh. Mm. Yeah. 49! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop it there. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Left wall, up, right to get. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> Left wall. Up, right to get out. <gasps> oh, that goes across. Yeah. Can I rewind? Too late. Ah, oh. uh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Next time, <laughs> when we have another challenge. Oh, this doesn't need to be plugged into the seventy-eight hundred. Mm. Amazing! 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 Oh, amazing! So much fun. So now we're gonna play Hungry Shark. Hunger Shark. Hunger Shark. Not hungry. Very strange. <laughs> so called... freaking close. Yeah, I know. Close. So <laughs> close. Um, this is by Anthony Luna, uh, mm -hmm. Retro Fiends. You can go for it on the uh, Atari Age forums. This is uh, first posted January 15th, 2014. Uh, this is from February 12th, 2014. I didn't say go. <laughs> Simon say says, not go. Simon says, don't go. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, that's... Eat. Eat them. Eat those guys. Avoid those things. You have a life bar, and your life bar goes down constantly, and you have to eat those swimmers. Or whatever they are. Oh. We don't know yet. Um, uh, games he has made, uh, Godzilla, um, and Hunger Shark. Two games. And he's disappeared. Uh, this is available in the Atari Age forums. He posted oh, um, January 15th. He says, eat people to avoid starvation. So that's your hunger level. Uh, but watch out for the pesky Coast Guard. Controls and gameplay. In Hunger Shark, you play as a shark with an insatiable appetite. To move Hunger Shark, point the joystick in the direction you want it to move. What? How do you use a joystick? To eat people, Hunger Shark must sufficiently overlap them. Doing so gains you points and replenishes you a bit of your hunger bar. Uh, if your hunger bar drains completely, you will die of starvation. After some time, when the water becomes blood red, <laughs> like right now, oh my goodness, the Coast Guard will send a pistol ship and shoot. The Coast Guard will send a pistol ship and shoot you when it becomes blood red. When it becomes blood red? No, it shoots one every level. The Coast Guard sends a pistol ship. Did you well, see a ship? Well, isn't that the black thing that, that yeah, comes that's up? That's like a mine. That's like oh, a, okay. That's not a ship or anything. That's like a mine. Uh, touching a squid collects it for later use. Oh, you're supposed to touch the squids then. Oh, did you see squids? I don't know. Oh. Is that what the... So that the black thing is definitely a mine. Oh, I don't think it's a squid. Okay. I mean, you could try, but I, I think it's a deadly mine. I think it looks like a mine. I haven't got there yet. Ah! Uh, to use a squid by pressing fire will replenish your health completely, but it'll spray ink, tur thus turning Hunger Shark and the water black for a time. You can carry up to three squids at a time. There's a squid. Get it. Get that squid. There you go. Good time to use it. There you go. You're back. Um, it'll, 
thus turning hunger shark and the water black for a time but you can carry up to three squids at a time but touching them will always yield a thousand bonus points so you kind of want to use it at the very last second before your yeah life i was i was about to die so yeah <laughs> treasure is known to pop at the Jeez. treasure is known to pop at the seafloor from time to time it may not be nutritious but it does yield a thousand points wow you see the treasure yet yeah, twice I've okay. gotten it. Yeah. I'm not watching. I've been reading. No, that's fine. <laughs> Mines will periodically spawn near the bottom of the screen, so be on your guard. The game increases in difficulty slightly with each level. Yeah, requires a lot of... PHC says, skulls, bats, lightning, that stuff that goes up and down with a little space in between. Dark screen, outline font, variety, <laughs> variety and see people suffering. That's what my games are all about. <laughs> Sums you up perfectly. You need to put that on the back of the box. That's awesome. An oldie, Arena Foot says. Yeah, I, I checked your books for this one because I thought I might have this one in the books. Um, oh, get that squid. Don't use it yet, though. Well, soon. I would use it now. Because. Well, oh, what? Did you use it? No. Oh, you get replenished after every boat? Well, it's good to know now. Oh, we didn't see that. Or you get maybe that. some life. Well, you got all your life. Back. I did. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. Good to know. Um, Arena Foot, do you have a spreadsheet of the games you rev you've reviewed and which books they're in? Because I have to flip through every book, like the index, which is, doesn't get that good, which uh, doesn't take too long, but it'd be super handy to just have a, um, a spreadsheet. Thanks for everyone who has helped me with questions across numerous threads. And thanks to Random Terrain, of which I lifted the movement from his eight direction missile example, uh, proved to be a better than my own for the game. Thanks to Batari for letting me finally realize a childhood fantasy to create a game for a video game console. Thanks uh, to Sharks as well. You know what? I've never really thought about it in that way. I bet every kid has, has dreamt of making their own game when they were a kid. It's like, oh, I'm going to make my own video game. Mm -hmm. It's going to have this in it and this. And it's going to have the shark and it's going to eat. eat this is exactly what my 11-year-old nephew would make yeah. if he if he could make a game. Yeah. My um, When he was a little bit younger, my mom asked him, what do you want to be for Halloween? And he said, a sharp tooth animal. A <laughs> sharp tooth Not, animal. Didn't matter which one. <laughs> it's just got to have sharp just teeth. Just got to have sharp, sharp teeth. That's so I do funny. believe he went as a shark at least once. Well, that is the most famous sharp tooth animal. Yeah, I always thought that was just the cutest thing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Arena Foot. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. Oh, oh that got was unfair. Me right away. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, one hit death. Ooh. Wow. Okay, good to know. I will let you know mm -hmm. that S. Ramirez posted a score right after we said we were going to play this game. Oh, yeah. And he's a master yeah. at playing games. 55,600. 55,000? 55, yeah. That doesn't feel... I mean, I got 17,000, and that's my third try. Doesn't so, feel unattainable. But it does get it get harder and faster, so... Yeah. Mm, good stuff. And, it is a fun game. Yep. So, yep. my turn. Your turn? Yep. Gotta beat 17,000. Give it a go. Just playing this with the keyboard. Yeah. Was nightmare. Oh, nightmare was it with hard? with a keyboard. Yeah. So hard with a keyboard. Definitely this is does. so much better. Ah. You, you don't want to end up chasing them because somehow no. you get off your game. Yeah, it's you just too right much. In the middle. You can get there, as Ramirez says. That 55k is back from when we had received our CIDs. Oh, okay. So it's an old score you posted. Yeah. The HZC. I'm not a fan of games where you have to do the same thing over and over, except when they are so frenetic like this one. <laughs> yeah, when it's a lot of stuff going on like, ah, the screen. Ah, ah, ah. It's a bit more yeah. exciting. Little. So now you can see why VHZC makes the games he makes. Yeah. <laughs> there is no repetitiveness in his games. No. I like the noise, too. Quack, it, it, it's like a chomp. It's like a... Quack. Yeah, crunchy... Oh, come on! One pixel off. So I got that guy on the edge yeah, of the Yeah, you screen. do have to kind of lap it, almost. Uh, running out of... Dodge. 
Running out of food. Oh, good stuff. What's that little dot at the bottom there? I wonder what that's for. I've got three squids now. They're, they are faster. You think I find them faster? Oh, they are faster. More of them. The thing is, it's yeah. one hit death. So with that, you... with that ship, yeah. Or that. I felt I'm sure. that was cheap because it hit me like just as it turned. It's too realistic. I almost died there. Yeah. So there was a swimmer there. Or whatever they are. Divers. Oh, they're pink. I would say swimmers. You should lose a, a lose a squid instead of dying. Yeah. Maybe that's too easy. I'll just hang out here. At least it does shoot in a predictable pattern. Metal Lunar. Swim faster oh. was the Coast Guard's recommendation to anyone swimming in this water. <laughs> swim faster. Yeah, it, it, it works because they are getting away. Oh my god, they're fast now. Oh, come on! I'm like, just beside them. Getting redder from all the death. Oh! You have the squids. You have lots of squids to use if, if you get a little too close. Yeah. Uh, but know. it doesn't go down um, during this stage. Oh, okay. You can only get three same. squids, which is good. Yeah. So if you make it to this, you're fine. Yeah. It is cute. <laughs> ah. Don't chase them. It's pointless. You're not as fast as them anymore. Ah. Ah. Well, you can catch up some. Ugh. Not too many mines so far. Ah! <laughs> Just as you said that. Of course. Red. So far, I haven't really had a problem with the... Um, I'll take that. Yeah. It's probably worth points. It is worth points. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing. <sighs> now, good luck getting these little guys. cute game it is getting a little, a little samey repetitive. Yeah. now but still it's still frantic right so, yeah yeah those games keep you keep you moving keep you going it's getting harder yeah much harder these guys are swimming so fast but with all the squid red. you have you can oh it's going down super fast now yeah, I mean, I you could. made it to the next round, but I, I have a feeling your health goes down really quickly. So far, it's been about the same. Oh, no, no, it's going down super fast. Oh, my God. Super fast now. I can't get any of them. Oh, my God. Oh. You might actually need to use your squid. <laughs> yep, this time I might actually have to do it. You're almost down. Let me know. Squid it, squid it. There you go. Actually, if you stick towards the top, you can see where your fin is. That's true. Oh my god. If I have to use more than one squid on a level, that's when I'm in trouble. Because then I'm going to go down in squid. Ah! Come on! Ah! James, file sent with game titles in all my books. Thank you so much. You. Oh, no! Oh, no! 37! You looked away. You weren't helping me. What do you mean? <laughs> You're supposed this to watch my, my oxygen. I, you were like, well, what is... You are about to ask me what's happening in the chat. <laughs> it's your fault. Uh, his hunger is insatiable. That was a good run. It was a good run. You going to do another one? Uh, no. no. No? It's, uh... It's a little repetitive. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly long to get there, too. Yeah. Yeah, you want to do another one? Yeah, I'll do one more. Okay. It's like Sequest. Yes. Yes, it is very much like Sequest. A little bit less stuff going on than Sequest. Um, but very, very, very similar. But there's a nice variety, like, of things. So you've got the mine. You've got the swimmers. Then you've got the boat. You've got the squid power-ups, which is very, very cool addition. Um, you've got the changing of the colors of the screen. Oh, oh, that was cheap. You'll never beat Esmer's score that way. Oh, oh no. Okay. 
okay. Can't have my legs up. This is <laughs> Let's try it again. Sequest and Spider Fighter go insanely fast after a while. This game which is <laughs> score just, of zero. It started right by where I died. Ah, oh. what is going on? Maybe get one of them? There we go. Uh Spider Fighter is unbelievable. It's such a good game. Um, I remember when we were playing that, trying to get the patch score for Spider Fighter. Yes, Fighter. yes, yes. That gets crazy fast. What did it have? A bunch of bananas? It just changes to bananas at the end. Oh, see, that's what happened to me all the time. It was like one pixel off the, the, the guy. Oh my god. Sequest and fast food mashup. That's true. Do much worse this time. Very much like fast food. Except there's no bad things to eat. It's just all good. <laughs> I guess you can think of the mines as a bad thing to eat. What does the timer along the bottom do? It's it's your hunger meter. And so, you will die at the end of it. So if it goes down to zero... Oh. Cheap. No, um, I'm done. <laughs> if it goes down... Oh, you're going to be playing the next all one. Right. If it goes down to zero, then you die. Yeah. Um, and you have to keep eating the swimmers. Yes. So, the last game of the night is Xevious. Oh. Now, we haven't really properly played Xevious since August 16th, 2020. Okay. So it was a while back, like mm. six months. And that was our, that was the debut. That was the premiere. It was a mystery game. Uh, uh CD-W, um... Let us premiere the game on the show, and we didn't know what it was going to be. Ready. And that was great. Wait. 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 There we go. Um, okay, there's two ways to play this game. Okay. One, it automatically bombs when you're pressing fire. Mm -hmm. Or you can use um, the Sega Genesis, which mm -hmm. has two button support. And one will be firing, one will be bombing. So that you can kind of time the bombing better. Okay. Um, so play with this because it's plugged in. See how you like it. And then see if the bomb is like, oh, the bomb's too imprecise. I so want to fire and bomb at the same time. Yeah. And we are playing not in intermediate. We are playing in expert. Yeah. So good luck to us. Thanks for pressing the button. Yeah. Right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> it is not an easy game. No, and it's, it's even, gonna take a little bit even harder. This. I remember playing this. I do remember playing this. Oh, you have to play with two buttons? Do you? Oh, do you yeah. Have a high score? Two buttons only. Never mind. We're All stopping. Right. Uh, we have to play it. Thank Good you night, Ace Ramirez. Thank you for the correction, Dan. Uh, otherwise, we'd be playing with no score counting. Because <laughs> I hadn't read out the. Uh, Oh, what was written? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was optional two buttons. But it is not. Mm. It is forced two buttons. Pull down the middle button. While I boot up. Middle button. Middle? Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> not left. Okay. Ready. Load it up again. Um so. Oh, wait. I was gonna show a video. So don't press anything. Okay, I'll leave that. Uh, what I was going to show is that this, because we didn't get to talk about anything last time we played this. Okay. Because I didn't know what game it was. Oh, So I, I had see. nothing prepped. Like, oh, gotcha. Absolutely nothing prepped for it. Mm. Um, because I was like, oh, I have no idea what game it is. But now I've got some info for us to take a look at. This was actually a game that was going to be released for the 2600. Zevius. They made a Zevius. Mm. Um, so let's take a look at what um, Zevius looked like on the 2600. Um, somebody found a prototype, or a prototype was found or released. Okay. It's not started yet. Oh, loud. loud, loud, loud. Maybe it was. Let's go to the other. I don't know what this is all about. That's not what it looks like. Or does it? 
Maybe it does. Okay. That's what it looks like. Um, so this was being developed for the 2600. And let me tell you a little story about it. Why is this so loud on our end? There we go. Uh, when Ray Kazar was fired as CEO of Atari in 1983, James Morgan was hired to take his place. One of the changes a Jim implemented was to put all projects on hold for 30 days while he reviewed everything that's been going on while Ray was in charge. The success of the 78 was deemed high priority as at the time, so most 2600 and 5200 projects were put on hold or outsourced. Mm. Todd Fry, the games programmer who did uh, Pac-Man and mm. a bunch of other games, was pulled off of Sword Quest Air World, which was never released, uh, to work, I believe, if that's the right one, to work on Xevious instead, and while the gameplay in the 2600 uh, version is amazingly accurate, uh, some corners had to be cut. One issue Fry faced with the 2600 it was that it only had one fire button. Uh, Todd got around this problem by allowing the fire button to double as a f double function as acting as both the fire and bomb at the same mm. time, which is how um, the ZVS now has an option for. A single button, yeah. Single button. Fire pressing fire button will shoot and drop a bomb that slowly arcs where the target is sighted. Um, uh, enemy AI also got a bit of a rework, so they all act similarly instead of having distinct uh, attack patterns. But it, it's not bad. No. It's not bad. The most impressive feat that Todd achieved was to implement a scrolling background. Yeah. Uh, as was seen in the arcade version. His background wasn't as detailed as his arcade cousin, but it was still a major accomplishment for the 2600. Half the objects are missing. Is that why it looks so strange? Oh. Is it the video? Oh, that's why it looks so strange. This is just a bad video. Let me fix this. Let me get another one. Because this is not right. I was like, what is going on with this? Can I get that search bar back? Why is it going away? There we go. Xevious 2600. Let's get a proper one. I think, there we go. That's, that's a better one. Not as high quality, but at least we'll get the whole ship. There we go. Is that the ship? Yeah, hmm. that's the proper. Because it's flipping back and forth. Oh, I see. Yeah. There we go. That's a bit better. Thank you. Mm. I was supposed to. I was like, what? Why does it look so weird? Still doesn't look great because it's low resolution. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Not only that, but Fry was able to have multiple enemies appear on the screen at once with little or no flicker. Uh, the only thing that may that flickers in the entire game is your ship, which he cleverly made up of two missile graphics mm. to keep more sprites free. That's super smart. That's really, really clever. Because all the enemies and you are the same color. So, mm. yeah, super smart. The unique design also makes your ship as twice as large as it was in the arcade. Which also has the side effect of making it harder to dodge enemies. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that is the story behind the prototype cool. for the twenty six hundred. It doesn't. It, it looks like it could be a very fun game, mm. right? But fast forward to twenty twenty and twenty twenty one. Now uh, we get a vastly superior version <laughs> with Chris Walton's. Zevious, nice. which is gorgeous. So we've got two buttons showing. That means it's proper. And we are ready to play on expert and die repeatedly. So let's read the rules of the game. So, uh, he says, time to announce the first bonus game of the 2021 Harmony Games Tournament, which is Xevious by Chris Walton, which won for Best Work in Progress Port. Here's the rules for the game. Play using the two buttons only and on expert level. We're using the current public ROM available, which can be found here, which we're using. Uh, as this is a bonus game for Harmony Games, scoring for bonus points start at nine points for the first place and ends with one point for ninth place uh, each place after so the current top oh my God. the current <laughs> top score is by C Wyland, who got first place in the other 
uh, tournament as well. Yeah. Um, he got 15,100 points in Xevious. So that's what we're shooting for. Beat 15,100. You can do it. There you go. Um, there are hidden things, and there are a little dot on the screen. Um, oh my gosh, I have to pay attention to the projectiles. Love the music intro. Yeah, it's oh. really good for TIA music. Even though it's like a little bit off, it's still good. And the enemy movement is just amazing. So this is um, CDFJ, 32k game. And I know there's a ton of compression done on the level design. And I believe Thomas Yench, the master of compression, helped out with this. Helped CD-W. Uh, um, so, CD-W posted August 18, 2020. Xevious for the Atari 2600 was unveiled today on Zero Page Homebrew Channel. I highly recommend watching the show if you've not seen it already. Uh, here's the binary version for everyone to play test. It's around 80% complete. We're still talking about this one because um, he hasn't updated. He hasn't released an updated version. Um, with the following features missing: the Andor Genesis motherships, uh, PAL 60 support, high score table. These are things that he still needs to do. Atari Vox support. Not sure about including speech. Well, he should if it's in the original arcade. There's the hidden thing on the right. Not even... Just trying to stay alive. <laughs> trying to survive here. Much better now. No. No? No, no. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> uh, he's going to put in a tracked mode. He's going to put in two-player support, turn-based. Oh. Not simultaneous. Made it to new checkpoint. Kind of, yeah. Good. Shocking. Uh, this is the sec well second game in the contest. Um, the first one was Night Guy in uh, Low Res World Castle Days, which we got second place. Oh, I got second place. Did you play it? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You're not up on the scoreboard. Oh no, it's terrible. Well, you still got a score. I'm not. I'm not. In Castle Days? Yeah, it, it was based on what level you Oh, yeah, to. I didn't get very far. Okay. You were doing really well, so sometimes it's just like, we'll you, you go ahead. We'll <laughs> have to review the video, because you, you, you got some points. Projectiles! The game is a direct port from the 7800 source code, which, uh, with lots of optimizations and tweaks to make it work on the 2600. The main differences from the 7800 version are... Uh, the scrolling background uses the play field instead of tiles. Because there is no such thing as tiles on a 2600. 6,000. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Oh, man. Kay. That is frantic. No, no, one more, one more. Okay, one more. okay. You keep reading. I'm still reading. Then we'll switch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the sprites by Nathan Strum are based on the arcade version, which it should be. The ground enemies are animated, uh, e.g. buildings open up to fire. The level layouts are modified to re reduce flicker, and we're going to talk about the layout, which is unbelievably cool. Um, note that it is a CDFJ ARM game and will only work in a recent version of Stella or a real Atari 2600 with a Harmony cart. Let me know if you find any bugs or any suggestions. It's amazing. Um... Armscar Coder posted August 18th. I'm not a big forum comment person, but I felt compelled to comment on this one. Since getting back into Atari, I'd considered getting a 7800 purely for Xevious. I have fond memories of playing the arcade game in my youth at the pool during lifeguard breaks. I caught a glimpses of Xevious on Zero Page Homebrew at work today when my boss wasn't around. Armscar. Uh, as soon as I got home, I downloaded and played it with my Sega Genesis controller. Bravo to CD-W and Nathan Strum, and looks like I'm still good with just my light sixer. Oh yeah, this is an incredible port of the game. Uh, Dianoid posted August 19th. He said, ah, from this picture and some debugging in Stella, I think I understand how this background is created with two colors per scan line. As you mentioned during Zero Page Homebrew's stream, it looks like you changed both the background color and playfield color for each scan line. Then use some clever playfield interleaving to create some very colorful backgrounds, right? And Thomas Yant says the basic idea of Xevious, playfield color mixing, can be used for other vertical scrollers too. Now, if you, you know, pause it. Or, or take it into Stella and use their pause feature and zoom in. 
every vertical line on this game is has two colors in it. Mm. One color is the play field going across the screen, and the rest of it is the background showing through. And it's alternating every second line, which creates the illusion of multiple different uh, colors. Like it looks like one, two, three, right there. Oh, damn it. Four different colors. It looks like. Yeah. But it's not. It's staggering them back and forth. Mm. Each line, different colors. Sixty-five, sixty. Anybody take keeping track? It's okay. Okay. Sixty-five, sixty. Are you on that for the last one? Still around. <laughs> was that higher than your last one? I think it's about the same. Okay. If you could put T sixty-five, sixty. Thank you. Oh, almost. <laughs> Close. Extra zero. Okay. Here we go. Good luck to me. Oh, it's so fast moving. But you probably want it to be fast moving. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's so nice smooth. Oh my god, there's so many bullets. So hard. <laughs> so hard. I think I'm going to play defensively, because I was playing offensively there. Dan, it's 65-60, not 50. <laughs> I will take every 10 points I can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing defensively. Oh my god. Oh, come on. <laughs> It is so amazing. You it's know what I gorgeous. love? The gameplay starts before the music is over. It just <laughs> sets up the frantic nature of the game. It's like, no, 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 you, you don't, don't get a time. break. You don't have time to listen to music. You don't have time to listen. Just start shooting right away. <laughs> oh, these things. I know, you have to be really like... To bomb them. Oh my God. Uh, I know, it's so hard. Oh, my thumb's getting sore. <laughs> It's okay. Um, this six looks an awful lot like a five, so uh, I'm not actually surprised. I, I got to take these out right when they come on the screen. If you can, but yeah, you have to really um, line it up well. Oh, how many men do you get? Four, I think. Four and zero counts as one. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. The one you have isn't. So five added. then. I think it's five. Wow. I have to count now. Very generous. I thought, oh, I'm doing terrible. I'm not going to get even close to your score. Hi. Hmm. You made it to like the first checkpoint. Yeah, you did. Yeah, really? You have. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. Well, there yeah, I, I we, got we past the, the furthest I've ever been now. Yay! Good job. Woohoo! Sixty-seven. Sore. I, hate these I know. Games. I know. I was like already. <laughs> oh, gotta get that bonus. Get that bonus. Ah, I got hurt. Those black things. Those black oh. things that come out. Oh, what they are bombs. Ah. Oh. Ooh, eleven two. 11-2. 11, 11,200. You do need a break because your fingers get sore. <laughs> RC70, that is the best question ever. Is this the 2600? Yes. It is. Like, I hope people use this scrolling engine oh, yeah. for many, many more shooters. River Raider? Is that? River, River Raid? River yeah. Raid, sorry. Yeah, you could do an upgraded version of River Raid for the 2600 using this single line scrolling play field with so much detail with seemingly four colors per line but it's like alternating it's it's just brilliant how how it, it's done brilliant 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 but i mean you do need to use like cdfj um, to be able to, and the ARM processor, to be able to get that many colors in. Because Thomas Yench did a calculation in the forums on the thread, and he was like, okay, if you t get rid of Playfield 0 on both sides, you know, get a bit more time. And then if you do uh, 
double double line um, players and you get a bit more time again but of course if you do the um, get rid of playfield zero you're gonna have these liney backgrounds on the left hand side but it's still not gonna work because you still don't have enough time so Anybody who wants to make scrolling shoot 'em ups would have to use CDFJ using this kind of playfield engine. And plus, my feed is delayed longer than your post. Okay. Yeah, ArenaFoot found a whole bunch of homebrew games on eBay going for ridiculous prices. And there were like games that are sold in the Atari Age store. Oh, really? And they're selling for like almost double what they sell in the Atari Age store, like, right now. Like, why would anybody buy that from eBay? Maybe they, maybe it's just people thinking that they can get the price, like, people are going to confuse them for original games because they look so good or something? I, I don't understand it. And, and Al uh, lists his games on eBay, too, for the store prices. So they, maybe. like, they bought... What was it? Gal they bought Galagon from eBay Yeah. for a higher price than another Galagon listed by Al. It doesn't make any sense. Does it, Atari? doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Are you going to play again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You didn't object, so... <laughs> no. I uh, wish there was a better two-button solution than that. You can't use the other joystick? I can. I should. Where is that? Now that there's a catamaran. The big one? The... That, that big one? Yeah. No, I can't read that second button. Oh, really? Unfortunately. It's wired for 7800. Otherwise, you could use 7800 two-button joysticks. Oh! It's... Maybe, Maybe shipping? Ship oh! That's a possibility? Still. Still, it's, it's you don't ridiculous. think you don't think Atari Age would ship via eBay to foreign places or no? Well, there's an issue right now with UK. Oh, is there? Um, you have to register yourself for shipments under a certain price because of because they're they're the adjusting EU things stuff? right now. Oh yeah. They have to the lack of you. <laughs> yeah, because they have to literally renegotiate with Shitty. every country. He's right? licking. He's licking my arm, kittens. Thank you for the support. He's nuzzling and nudging there. Oh, yes, you're a big supporter. Yeah, he loves Zevius. He's like, you must do well. You need oh. some kitten spit. Good night, VHSC. Good night. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining us. For Thank you for play making wonderful games. PRG Smash Hits sold for $371. Yeah, it did. So I've never heard of that game before, Smash Hit. Mm. I tried to look it up. Is it like a game made just for PRG? Whoa. Oh, I was just... You, sometimes you get forced into a corner. Yeah, there's so many bullets coming oh. your way. Hi, kitties. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Play. Is it helping you? Not really. Oh. But... Is it hindering I, you? I, it's not hindering me, no. Yeah, shipping doesn't explain the extra $50 that they pay. Kitten, you're out of control. $50? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> so what did they, what's the score we're trying to beat? Something way too high. It's, uh... Oh, 15,100. That's not unattainable. I got to 11 on my first game. Second game? Yeah, it's not unattainable. I, I think you're already attainable. You have one extra. Ha ha ha! You're gonna be my Kittens. score. Oh, I don't know. Did not die instantaneously. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal. Not to die instantaneously. There's not a. There's not a. Uh -huh. no, not a non zero risk! Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's your best so far, though. Oh, 1500? Oh, is that the one to beat? Yeah. So, Tanya. 10,190. Not too bad. Somebody not can too bad. post that. Yeah. Whew. Smash is a breakout. Okay. Hi, kittens. 
Yeah. Oh, I'll pet you. That'll soothe my hands. Soothe my poor fingers. Yeah. Purr. Purr it up. Purr it up good. Oh, got two in one. It's always the goal to, like, shoot right in between them. Oh, I know, and then you get... Oh, love, come on! I love even the little smoldering wastes of the oh, missile yeah. sites. Like, they, they have multiple colors and little red flecks in them, like they've actually caught fire. It's really cool. Oh, they're moving again. Yeah, that's nice. I guess they dropped off whatever they dropped off and to. back for some more. Guy's just blasting out bullets. Oh my god, how many bullets? Stop it! Too many. Oh, I knew it! It's cornered. I can beat 15,000 like this. I need another joystick. I'm gonna have to get out the, um, the other Genesis one. Where it has like a joystick oh, the big on it. One? Yeah. I was having weird issues with it though. Yeah, you were. And I was very frightened. Yeah. That, because it was like giving display issues. Oh. And it was like freaking me out. Because it needs I know power. Which one you need. Right? It's not a. It needs power to light things up and yeah. use the turbo buttons. So. I think it just draws more power than the 2600 wants to give it. Like, it worked for a long time. Like, just fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, things are coming in. Hidden things. They were hiding. Oh, come on. Ugh. Need that bonus money. Come on. Ugh. Come on, god. Ugh, that was weird. Just sitting there. Damn it! Good, that was good, though. It was. Yeah. Do a bit more here. Good. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, same, same, same with me. Yeah, I don't think I'd be. You're gonna last try one. the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Do you want me to pl play, and you can? Oh, sorry, kitty. Sorry. Yeah, you can play, and I'll search for it. Okay. I think I know where it is. It's under here somewhere. Yep. Yep. You can stop playing. What? Died immediately anyway. Yes. Yeah, didn't you have two of these? Ones? I do. Well, one was acting up. There one was, was acting up. There was yeah. always one that was acting up. Mm. <laughs> Wonder what Esther Mira's scored on this one. 20,000 at Probably. least. Probably. At least. It's really good. Mm. Okay, pull down the middle button. Load it up. So far, so good. Oh, you're not on expert. Oh, sorry. You're gonna be like, oh, this, I'm doing really well. <laughs> Come on, back up here. Come on, back up here. Come on. Nope, nope, not over there. Nope, nope. Come on, up here. Not over there. Um. So, kitten. I know what you're going in there for. You like make a beeline for it. So let's read about Zevius. Oh, good job. So, oh. Is it easier? Uh, bit? better on the hands for yeah. sure. Zevius is a 1983 vertical scrolling shooter arcade game developed and published by Namco. In North America, it was published by Atari. Controlling the Sovalu starship, the player is tasked with wiping out Zevius forces before they destroy all of mankind. The Sol Solvalu. Solvalu has two weapons at its disposal. An air zapper to destroy flying enemies. Get out of there. There's more HDMI in there. Come on. An air zapper to destroy flying enemies, and a blaster bomb to destroy ground station enemies. It ran on the da Namco Galaga arcade system. Oh, okay, so the same hardware as uh, Galaga. Whoa! 
Oh, oh. I couldn't go further up. Mm. So this was released um, for the Apple II, Atari 7800, Atari ST, NES, Famicom Disk System, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, Sharp X6800, ZX Spectrum, Mobile Phone, Game Boy Advance, oh, and Xbox 360. So lots and lots of... Is the sound on this taken from the 7800 version? can't remember. I don't think there's anybody credited right now for the sound. So I think it is, at least for the time being. I have not played the 7800 version to any extent. Yeah, you were. Anybody with any experience with the 7800 version can compare the, the sounds? Oh. oh! No, 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 no. I have to do that again. <laughs> It's close, Dan says. Hmm. Let's see if there's any hints. CBS hints. Walkthrough strategy guide. It's probably like, don't get shot. Yeah, Shoot no. everything. Like, oh. like, what kind of hints can you can you give? Avoid, really? avoid. That's really yeah. Just avoid. Zevius is composed of sixteen areas or stages. Well, we haven't seen the first one yet. Each stage continues immediately on to the next, but with no visual indication of one stage ends and another stage begins, other than a dense forest. Interesting. The stages are composed of 16 vertical strips that are comprised from the map on the right. You can't see it, but... After completing the th 16th area, the areas repeat starting from the 7th. Mm. Type, oh, I ran into it. The mm. type of terrain you fly over will generally dictate what kind of ground troops you'll be encountering. Since they are relatively fixed, the terrain will not have any bearing... Oh my goodness on the aerial troops since they're dictated by your skill level. The ability to target and destroy Zolbax. Okay. Combat strategy. Isn't the game taken from the source code? Yes, so the movement is taken from the 7800 version. Nathan Strum is basing the graphics on the arcade. Um, so yeah, the, the enemy movement is from the 7800. And I'm guessing the sounds are as well. So nobody's credited for sounds. Unless CD Dash W is doing the sounds himself. Could be. It could be. Got a bonus. Uh, there's some good po good points in those. We don't move. Oh. oh. I'm trying to, I try to bomb them, and sometimes it's like. It's a mistake. Throughout the game, you have two primary concerns. The current threat level of aerial enemies and the immediate presence of ground targets. The more aggressively you play, the greater likelihood of uh, return fire. So you must also be a lookout. Oh, best so far. 11, 8, 20. Ow, 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 ow. So let's see how this joystick performs. Better. Yeah? But it's still, I find it hard oh, actually Oh, this is so fingers. much better. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It is. This is... Night and day. I will definitely be. Yeah, you did a lot better. Yeah, I do find it hard on on the the button pushing though. Well, well, you just hold it down. Oh, I guess after a while. Well, you have you to. Mean? You want to bomb, right? I guess. Do you just hold everything now? No, no, you just press it. You put the bombing too. Yeah, just press it once. No, but I mean pushing it hurts my fingers oh, okay. after a while. I'll just lightly That's... touch it. Easier said than done. Uh, I guess you're like, ah, stressed out, press hard, press hard. Yeah, maybe I need to just relax. Relax, like a kitten. <laughs> Roll on your back and go, meow. Oh, come on! What did I, I shot right between them? <gasps> no! <laughs> terrible, doing terrible. Terrible. How can I be so bad at one of my favorite genres? It's hard. <laughs> just because <laughs> it's, it's my favorite doesn't mean I'm good at it, right? It's very true. I, I'm definitely better at platformers, which I love, than I am at shooters, even though I love, love, love shooters. 
No, I knew it! Damn it. Thank you, Dan and Arena Foot. Keeping track of the scores. That's That's how you do it. What you wanna do. So then you take them both out right away. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I turned on the, um, played this on Stella, and I turned on the CRT filter. You got the, um, bonus, though. Yeah. yeah. Turn on the CRT filter, like the fake CRT filter. Mm. It looks really good. Oh, that's good. Like the blending of the colors, because it kind of mushes things together on the CRT. Or at least the uh, CRT emulation. Come on. It's like the Millennium Falcons are swooping in. Yes. 13830. That's good. Getting there. You want another go or you want to I kind of do. Yeah. I kind of do. 13830. Excellent. I will at least beat 1500. And then he will trounce me. Yeah. Afterwards. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting used to the joystick here. Whoa. Out of nowhere, where'd that bullet come from? Well, some of them actually do come out of nowhere. <laughs> the little round ones that oh, come yeah. in just come out from the corners. They warp in. Yeah. Some, some far off enemy you can't yet see. Like the enemies were fighting. Yeah. These ones Are... don't shoot, but some of them do. If you start on the normal mode, these guys are not... Most of these enemies are not even on the screen till like, 10 minutes into the game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you these have a lot more... enemies. Yeah, you have a lot more enemies in the advanced mode, in the expert. Oh, God. Atari's still Don't here. step on the cables. Nice. You're kicking the cables. That's an extremely expensive piece of equipment that took forever to ship. Cables. They're just getting moved. <laughs> um, I'm not Natari. I'm not gnawing away at them. Yeah. He is in the corner, though, behind them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Probably, yeah. probably get more. Um, if you destroy it. Yeah, if you destroy it. <gasps> Ooh, you're in a rough, uh, rough spot there. So many things are just coming on the screen at the same time. Did I advance at all? Did I make it to the next checkpoint? No. Oh, I think. I made no. It. Well, I've, I've been to this checkpoint. Yeah, this is like getting the past second it checkpoint. is really. It's the third. Third or fourth. Take things out immediately. Oh, come on! 18%? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you still have one more! Yeah, yeah. Oh, good stuff. Seems like the flying enemies are always the same when they come in. They, they always, yeah. Yeah, I At think you're right. At least for the first little bit. Well, so are the ground enemies. I mean... Oh, just you got, got an extra life. life. Oh. Just. Oh, my God. Oh, James just took first place. <laughs> yeah, I did. By a bit, by a bit, by a little bit. Good stuff. I know I can do better because I am developing some skills. Oh, oh 22, 9, 10. Nice. Oh, nice. I don't know if I can beat that, but I'm sure go. I can beat my previous score.
try and wrap up the joysticks. Some episodes. Uh, oh my god. Just, cornered myself. Gotta stay out of that yeah, corner. It's deadly. It is deadly. Because they shoot at you. So the more you stay there, the, the more worse, bullets. The worse you are. Yeah. yeah. Usually by the end of the show, if I'm like, if we have paddles and two player games, the floor is littered with joysticks at the end. It's out of control. So I'm trying to wrap these up. Whoa, that was close. Whoa, that was close again. We're always close. Ah. Uh. It seems that the ground-based things stop shooting at you after a certain spot, after they make it to a certain spot on the screen. It looks about two-thirds of the way down, they'll stop shooting at you, because that's really mm. unfair. Mm -hmm. They're like shooting from behind. Or at least, it's hard. Nice! Nice! Woohoo! Well, that's a lot of points. Is it? Yeah. Is it is a lot of points. Definitely go for it every time. Dying! I'm dying! No, you're not. I'm dying! Oh my god! <laughs> Bombardment of bullets there. Oh, that's a bit much. It is. Yeah, you have to take out the ground stuff. Like, as much as you can. It's just... It's so bad after a while. Especially that spot. That was really crazy. Oh, oh no! Seizes up after a while. It's really hard. Oh, oh no! I was lining myself up and it shot me. Fourteen three fifty, best yet. I had a really nice run there for a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Second, I thought she little brothered him and gave him the controller not plugged in. <laughs> I'm doing really good. Yeah. yeah. Get it. Get it. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. I think we have played games at some point where we thought we were playing, but we weren't. We weren't? Playing. Yeah, well, that racing game, happen. I'm like, and then someone's like, you're not playing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it wasn't highlighting. Yeah, there are a number of the, comments. That after. Paddle, the paddle game, I was like, oh, it's, it didn't even notice. No. Didn't even notice. He's, he's going to try and make it more obvious in, in newer builds. Like, oh, somebody's. It's something. What was it? Uh, Dad. Oh, uh, thank you, Dadulus, for following. Oh, thank you. Very cool. Glad you were enjoying our stream. Yeah. Our death runs. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like that, five thousand. That's a lot of points. Yeah, we definitely need that in there. What if it comes back? Like, you mean later on? Um, like if you or... die. Oh, this is the point where it's like insane. Oh, look at those things. Uh, I'm just going to avoid it. There's another one. Hell yeah. <laughs> or it's, maybe it's 4,000 or something. It's, it's a lot. What is? That bonus. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it, it's the things on the ground that get you. Oh. Die. Oh my god. I missed them all. I shot it like four times. It's okay. You didn't die. Oh, oh, that was a good run. First that man. Was a good run. Whoa. Can't wait to play this on easy. Oh my god. Or normal. Yeah, but you won't get the points. I bet you get the points on the expert. That's usually how it works. Uh, well, there's more things oh, on the here screen. Comes the crazy. Damn it. Oh. There's more things to shoot on expert, mm. so you are. Yeah, you do get more points. But you'll definitely make it further, which will get you even more points without all these bullets. Oh, come! I got him! <laughs> what he deserved. I think you got an extra uh, uh, yeah, life. I did. At 20,000. I got Maybe every two 10. last time, so I think it's at every 10. Every 10? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Come on! There you there go. There we go. I think it's about the preciseness of the bombing. Damn it! Look, I got them both! <laughs> you got him and yourself. In ah! So frustrating, though. Those... Oh, 
right into it. Oh, terrible. I'm doing terrible now. After that first man amazing run. Oh, damn it! 27, 27. <laughs> 27,270. Excellent. Excellent. Bigger increase. That was a good. That was good. Should have done better with my other lives, though. I think when we played this game um, on the show, the first time we set it to easy so we could show how far along. Yeah. Like all the levels and stuff. And to get that, get that, huge points, huge points. Oh, oh just. just. Good job. Um, and we made it pretty far because easy is. Like, oh, oh, considerably. <laughs> Way easier. Marilyn did great. Oh, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, he, he surprised himself how great he did <laughs> on the game, because he's not... He, not a shooter kind of person. not a shooter person. kind of yeah. guy. Oh, oh, he went right up against it and shot you. Full of cat hair. Just like everything else in the house bring any kind of clothing into the house, it's like cat hair instantly all over it. Good job. Oh. oh, I don't know what got you there. But... It was a stray bullet. Mm. It's just so much... This is incredible this is on a 2600. This is... I'm trying to think... Like, this, this definitely rivals... Um, Draconian. Ah, oh, stuck in the corner again. Complexity of the number of things going on in the screen. Mm. And this adds an extra level of the play field happening as well. But I mean, this doesn't have the big um, oh, Draconian bases though. 1650, yeah, 540. Even better. Every time. Yep. A little bit, a little bit here and there. <laughs> this is right up there with my favorite shooters now in the 2600. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, right up there with um, Draconian. Mm. I think Draconian is still my top. So good. Every time I go to the arcade, mm. I have to play Draconian. Or Bosconian. Bosconian. Yeah. Bosconian. Yeah, that's a really fun game. And also a game that's fairly easy to yeah. play. For the first couple levels. Yeah. Like first five levels or so. Oh my god, terrible. Just wasn't taking out the bo the ground troops. You have to take out the ground, but you have to keep an eye on all the bullets. Everywhere. That's what... Uh, Your eyes have to be both focused and, and unfocused at the yep. same time. Yeah. It's definitely a skill. Oh. oh. No. Tanya takes second place. Wow. Nice. Uh, I'm sure to be beaten fairly quickly, but still. Let's see how, happy. how much attention that other guy pays to, to, the, uh, <laughs> to the scoreboard. If he revisits it. When does this round end? I think it's April 5th. So there's oh, lots, there's a lot of time. Lots of time, I time. think, but I may be wrong. No, oh. Already here, S. Ramirez uh, powering up Diving his Atari 2600. <laughs> yep, he's like, I can do it. Yeah. I'm taking first. <laughs> no, I saw it. And, uh, <laughs> Find another one after this. Another game. This is terrible. I'm not gonna 
get any kind of good stories. Wasted too many lives already. What? Cheap, 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 cheap. Mm, Just boom. For both Probably because um, I was too far up on the screen. It's because I'm wanting to get the ground troops immediately, right? Mm, so well, I'm, yeah, you, so I'm you staying focus on way it. up there. Because if you leave them for too long, they start shooting. They start shooting at you, and then it Still becomes the impossible almost. So, yeah, you definitely have to be really precise. Oh, oh come on. Damn it. It's I very it. easy to get overwhelmed. That was terrible. Don't even look at that score. <laughs> April 5th, so there's tons of time. Tons of time. Might have to revisit this game. Uh, yep, if somebody beats me, I will. <laughs> That's for sure. It's, it's, it's one of those, it's like, oh, I can do better. I know I can do better. No matter how good your score is. Oh, you got both Revenge! <laughs> Revenge after death. Another terrible round. Mm. Thousand points in one man. That is not a good average. Oh, there's the dot right there. The bonus. Gotta get the bonus. <sighs> need to get the bonus like three or four times. Make it easier on yourself to get a high April score. April 5th at 2 p.m. Central for both normal and the bonus. Oh. I mean, I can't get better on the normal. I'm second place and I can't get first because it was based on what level you can get to. Sleepy. And that's your best bet to bomb both of them at once if you can. When they're staggered like that, it's a lot harder to bomb both of them. I mean, this isn't even a good run through of the game like, to show it off because mm -hmm. we're barely even scratching the surface of the levels, level design. We're just seeing like the same small bit of level over and over again. So it's hard. <laughs> Die real quick if I don't. One of them. Oh, good. That's good. What? <gasps> Damn it. What was my score? The other one? 27. Oof. Oh my god. I need some more of those, those hidden things to get up to that. I think I just passed both of them, so... I didn't even notice that it turns red when you're on target. Does it? Yeah. Oh! Well, that makes life easier. Kind of. I mean, it's still hard, but because you're passing through them so quickly. It doesn't make life any easier. No, it's still just as challenging, I'm sure. Yeah. Nice. Is that 
bonus? Yeah, I got the bonus. Oh my goodness! Oh, now these guys. These guys move so much. Finally made it to a new level. Dodgy. Wow. These are so cool in 3D. They're very cool. They look beautiful. So amazing. There's no points here yes, there to are. get. Just dodging. There's no dodging points. and then shooting the things on the ground. Zevious player by the end of this. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I actually played in the arcade with some confidence. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Can I have some free lives, please? Yeah, <laughs> anytime. 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 Thank you! <gasps> Finally! No! Not really. Not really. Okay, one. One thing. These oh. things just shoot at you! Ooh, dodge, dodge! Get out of here! That's where the big bad ship is supposed to be. Is there supposed to be big? Is it not complete? It's not. It's not in the game yet. Oh! But that was too short. It's just a little break, I guess, between levels. Oh my God! Oh, the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> they, not they exactly, and, but they're very they, similar. No, they fly in and out like they yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Atari Twenty Six Hundred, dude. I agree. <laughs> What? You're kicking ass. I, I am. I don't know how. <laughs> I've just like got to the point where it's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> just hit a hit a zone. Yep. This is amazing. It is amazing. I can't believe this is a twenty six hundred game. I have to say. It's just gorgeous. Oh. 79, 50, you have one more life. Yeah, it is wow. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, the stream encoding gave up around the 3D plates. Looked like an impressionist painting. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh! That was amazing. I am not beating that score. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I retire. <laughs> <laughs> and done. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that, that, one... is, that is going to be one for, for people to, to beat. Um, oh, yeah. 81250. Oh. Wow. wow, wow. Oh. Yeah. Awesome game. Yeah. Now I'm officially a fan of Xevious. Yes. I really had never played this game before this. Wow. I'd never given it a chance, never played in the arcade, not on any other platform. So you really didn't know the game? No, not wow. at all. So that's that's amazing. That was super fun. Oh. Um, so that wraps it up. Now you can retire when you're on top. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Eighty-one oh. two fifty. Um, so today we played. What did we play? We played Slide Boy in Maze Land, which I was a bit disappointed. That we did not we quite get it to the end. Got to level forty nine. Oh, I know that hurts. And it's like, oh come on. So we almost saw the levels. We missed one level, and I bet you saved a special one for last. So mm. when that comes out on cart or some competition, we'll play we'll it again. Get, we'll go and back we'll, to and it, and we'll make sure. And we'll we get try to maybe it. on the hard level too, because we were really doing it on the easy. So um, it's that's, it's a heck of a well. lot harder on the normal where you're 
really Oof. speeding. Yeah. Where is S. Ramirez now? Exactly. That's right. He's gone. <laughs> shh, shh, don't tell him. <laughs> um, Thanks, Dan. ABC. <laughs> played Hunger Shark, which is surprisingly fun. Yes. Um, there's a lot going on. Yep. It gets a little samey, but it gets faster and faster, so it keeps you uh, entertained. Yeah. You get in the groove a, bit, a little, then you can really get your score up. And I then think, you got to start using yeah. the squids. Yeah. And then it starts getting hard. Yes. So it. Once it gets start to be samey, then it starts challenging you. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, now the game gets hard. So, uh, worth trying out, that's for sure. Mm. It's an old one that probably not a, pe a lot of people have played. Uh, Xevious, it's a masterpiece of a game. Just it's amazing. Just utter masterpiece for the 2600. Yeah. Um, it's using techniques I've never seen used in a game like that. Mm. With the play field and background changing every line i i really hope other people utilize that technology and mm. just go wild with the shooters like start <laughs> start like, i want more shooters <laughs> start porting all the vertical scrolling shooters like yeah. it's time time to remake 1942 yeah like pff, although that's mostly all over water I, I believe is it yeah yeah so it doesn't really help you need like land formations and mm. stuff um and maybe you can t turn like all the side scrolling ones kind of vertical almost <laughs> um yeah. but that would change it quite a bit yeah uh if you have never played xevious for the 2600 by cd-w play it now mm. like you could see how like that's expert mode it's not going to be as hard as that no <laughs> it'll crazy. be a little easier on the easy mode and, yeah, and the normal or and easy. they're yeah. quite balanced the the levels it, actually expert like that is expert that's hard that's really bombarding you with so many oh, shots. Oh yeah, and there's certain points you're just like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm just there's so many, there is so many to go. little shots on the screen. It's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing game. It is. Yeah. Like I gotta um, hand it to C D dash W. It's unbelievable. So what's coming up? Next this Friday is the Dragonfly Cart special. Yes. With an the EXO exclusive work in progress Yay. update. Yay. Uh, very excited about that from Muddy Funster. And he's mm. got so many other games in the pipeline um, that look amazing. That Qbert style, but it's not diagonals. It's oh, all straight. Yep. That yeah. looks so, like so much fun. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're also going to be playing the Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition with the Yamaha sounds through the, through the uh, Dragonfly cart. Mm. And he's just updated that like an hour ago as well. Um, his final, he says, this is it. I'm done with the game. It's, it's done. It's finished. So he's finished the game now, 100%. Uh, and some more demos and stuff to show off the Dragonfly cart on Friday. Yeah. It's, it's sound capabilities. Nice. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do a full playthrough of Circus Convoy at some point uh when it gets released yes don't know when that is oh. when they ship it out uh then we're going to be going to playing some 2600 games 7800 games but big thing developer spotlight on bob de Crescenzo is now locked in oh awesome it's going to be on april 9th okay friday april 9th okay uh normal time 6 p.m uh, we're going to run through all of his games, have them live. Lots of Pac-Man. Lots of Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac we're going to ask him, why do you like Pac-Man so much? <laughs> yeah. And are there any Pac-Man games you haven't made yet beside Championship Edition? Yeah. Um, I think he's done all of them. Wow. Even the obscure baby Pac-Man. Wow. Which is pinball and, and Pac arcade. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. So that'll be in uh, less than a month. Three weeks. Cool. Yeah. Um, that is about it. Oh, um, the other a special unannounced event is coming up soonish as well. I can't tell you what that is. <laughs> Maybe I can soon. I should be able to soon. Um, because okay. I need to start promoting it. Um, it's it's going to be a really fun time. Um, lots of people involved. Mm. Lots of things happening with it. Um, and we'll be doing it on a Saturday mm. at noon. It's a big thing. It's a big deal. It's so special. It's going to be on a Saturday. I don't even know what it is, do I? Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. I do? Yeah. <laughs> I made the promo for it today. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or started the promo. It's not done. I'm going to add a bunch more fun things in there. Cool. Uh, 
What else? Oh, that's about it. Pac-mania. Pac-mania. <laughs> Pac-mania. Is that the side scrolling? No, that's Pac World. What's Pac-mania? Well, it's, it's Pac-mania. <laughs> oh, it's Pac. No, the special event is not Pac-mania. <laughs> if that's what you're asking, we're gonna get enough Pac-mania with uh, Bob De Day. That's that's his day. Yeah. yeah so if we it's don't. Pac-mania day. Pac-mania day. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's about it. We're going to say thank you to all the people that yes. joined us today to the bitter end. Arena Foot, Dan ABC, thank you for uh, hosting this uh, high score challenge. Yes. It's great revisiting these uh, winning games, these oh, award winning yeah. games. Yes. Because that's what they're compro comprised of, mm. is the Atari Awards winners. winners. Yeah. So this was um, Best Work in Progress Port, gotcha. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well deserved. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, Vitoko Eight Bits. Oh, he said it was his favorite game in the arcades. Yeah. I just it just passed passed you by. Passed that happens my radar. sometimes. Yeah. I think I looked at it on the NES when that version came out, and it just. I think I only saw the first bit, and I'm like, oh, this is like really basic looking, mm. and I never thought of it as a. And I don't think people really highly regard the NES conversion. Yeah. Uh, port as very very good. Yeah. So maybe that's why I was like. Uh, whatever Xevious. I'll doesn't. skip that like, one. It yeah. looked like a simple, simple shooter. Like, so basic. Yeah. But the arcade looks amazing. The 2600 version like just destroys the NES it's, version. It's beautiful, yeah. And most of these 2600 versions, the controls are so good compared to any other port, mm -hmm. like any other platform, because you have 60 frames a second and they're just really smooth controls. So they're mm -hmm. so much closer to the arcade than e like Pac-Man 7800 is like just so much closer to the arcade than any of those other game any other ports of Pac-Man or Popeye did I say Pac-Man Popeye for the 78 <laughs> yeah yeah Pac-Man that jumps no for Bob <laughs> well he made he made Bentley Bear didn't he so that's a that's a didn't he I swear he did maybe not so Thanks, Dan, uh, for uh, liking the show. Pack brain. Mm -hmm. Now you're just being silly. Uh, thanks, RC70, <laughs> for, for tuning Costa. in. Uh, Atari2600, dude. Uh, Dadulous. Yes, oh, thank you. That's for a new name. Yeah, they, fo they followed us in the oh, middle of the stream. Oh, is that stream? the person? Yeah. Oh, well, I hope thank you come you. back and watch us again. Yep. Uh, who else was chatting near the end of the show? Kev Kelly's in there. Oh, dang it. Just you breezed past him. But, yeah. VHZC as well. VHZC. Yeah. Reason past these people. Oh, the insane dad just followed. Thank you so much. Just snuck it under the wire there. Yeah. <laughs> S. Ramirez, Crossbow, Metal Lunar 7. Uh, Chris Albright said the video was frozen. Just re reload. <laughs> um, way back there. JC Church, Muddy yeah. Funster. And that is the top of the chat. Excellent. And all those people who are lurking. Yes, Thanks for the thank stream. you for lurking. You're very welcome, Metal Lunar 7. Thank you for tuning in. Many more amazing shows coming up mm -hmm. with special guests and special streams. Yeah. Until Friday, we're out of here. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you on Friday at the yes. normal time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.